No, Razor! <laughs> I know, right? Just obliterated. I love Yamato, though. Just such a good. Right? Have you tried seawater? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Because water makes ocean. I have to admit, like, we've been waiting for, like, a water, water fruit because, like, that would be, like, super, super OP. But let's face it, I feel like Earth is definitely horrible, to say the least. I can't wait till all of this is animated so much. I'm so excited. I just realized! Oh my god! I, I, like, it's taken until the third time I've read this to actually realize. Oh, hi guys! Sorry. I'm definitely not reading the One Piece chapter. Welcome back to the internet. Come and take a seat. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rian. How are you going? And I will hydrate. And, uh, wait, I gotta, I'm gonna switch to this scene. Sprinkles. Yeah. Sprinkle positivity. I forgot that it's your birthday. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's really my birthday. Wow. There we fucking go. Hell yes. Do you get it? Do you get it? Maybe. I'm gonna say this. Under the water. Yeah, yeah. So I just read that again, and I'm realizing it's. Oh wait, no, I'll wait. Oh wait, oh wait, yeah, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> I like how it's called Mount Fuji. Yeah. It's so good! Ooh. I'm not reading. Then why is your favorite month in- why is your favorite month is July? Ha, you- dumb. that's incorrect. And you know it, okay? <laughs> you know my favorite month is, um, is March. Because I'm biased. I mean, I do like, you know, like, anywhere between November to March is good. Wait, what? What are you up to? Um, please hold on. Yeah. Didn't I just say that Pluton was in Alabaster? Or was that like a red herring? No, no, no. It said in Alabaster we found out that Pluton was in Wano all along. Ah. Okay. <laughs> My love one piece. Alright, I'm gonna close it. My god. Leave sight. What? No. What? What have I not saved? Ah. I've got to save something.
Is that reality making that noise? Anyway, welcome, welcome, guys. Hope you're going well. I'm definitely not distracted. Oh, they want me to jump for the star. You can jump for the star. You can be the star, you know? It's just that cool. I kept wondering why my volume was so loud, and I'm realizing it's because I turned my own volume up for the meeting earlier. All right, load world. Fuck. <laughs> Pardon, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I like that Philip reacted to the ooh, One Piece chapter. I should just stop posting the One Piece chapter in, in the Discord. Every week, even if people don't watch it, it's just, yeah. I jumped so it would go away. Yeah, that one was more inexcusably gross than usual. Oh, thanks. <laughs> sorry. Hey Blue, are you shitting me? I just ended a stream, I could have raided you. Well, it's too late now. It's fine Blue, don't you worry. Don't stress. No stress, not even a mess. Where did my hand go? Where is it? Hello, there it is. Oh my god. Minimize, minimize. Just leave an IRU. <laughs> yeah, 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 just slide it under the desk. IRU. Yatta! I watch too much anime. Um, but it's somehow still not enough, which is kind of interesting. All right, where are we? What were we up to in this game? We were on an island and we were getting titanium and shit and that was cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh-oh. I see the shark's shadow. Damn it, I'm gonna play some Fall Guys and watch this stream. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Wings confess confessions. I watch too much anime. Wings' is other confessions. I don't watch enough anime. You done the clan of Yetus yet? What? The clan of Yetus? Hi, Daft. Have you been Daft, dude? Daft, dude. <laughs> God, that sounds weird saying it that way. Have you been, man? Hope life's been going well for you. Nope, but I'm close. Ah, yes, I understand. <laughs> God damn. I know, right? <laughs> oh my, I don't know what part you're reading, but I know, right? The, 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 yeah. Yes! Oh my god, nothing is hotter. That was what I was- uh, my- my brain was screaming about yesterday. Because <laughs> I accidentally saw that on, um, on- on- on uh, the spoil- uh, the- like, the page. Spoiled. Well, as of today, I'm no longer in- I, uh, no longer in my 20s. Officially old. Are you saying that today's your birthday, Daft? <gasps> well, don't we just have to absolutely hunkin' hunky-dory have to celebrate that, don't we? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daft. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! And a half hoot. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Dot com dot au slash. Well, I should say twitch. Dot com dot au slash Daft virus one one seven. We appreciate. Raises a bottle of water to you. Yep. Cheers, mate. I know you've probably been avoiding someone singing you happy birthday all day, and I'm here to ruin that streak. <laughs> all right, uh, if we go back to this one, we go to the, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you go to .com.au, not .tv? Oh yeah, .tv would make more sense. Twitch was not expecting that. Ah, oh, dude, you tell me it's your birthday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing it. Obviously, that's how it works here. Hello, wonderful people, hope you all have well. Yeah, happy birthday to Daft. Congratulations. You're old, but that's okay. It just means that you're more experienced. And experience points, you know what that means? Your level increases. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good job. Congratulations for leveling up. Okay, I finished. I'm gonna jump in the game now. 
I'm slowly starving as I'm just standing here, so it's okay. Ooh. Hey, look, a bird. Ugh. Anyway, we're gonna talk about- I'm gonna talk about One Piece for like several minutes. Sorry, if y'all don't understand, just don't mind me. It's just- it's just me, okay? So, I just- uh, yeah, spoilers. Massive spoilers, but I mean, I don't know how many of you actually care about anything like that. Um... So I realized, like, when I was reading it finally for the third time, I was like, oh no, like, the- I was thinking the Pluton was so big, it would, like, rock the- the surface of the walls, and that's what would cause them to, like, fall down, right? Mm -hmm. But then I realized, no, the point of Pluton is to bring down the red line, because there's, like, there's walls and stuff like that. Like, there's a pretty big walls, and they're probably yeah. relatively they small in comparison, weird. but- you know, like, I was like that realization of like, holy shit, they could actually, the Pluton might actually destroy the walls of the red line. And that would be really cool. Might have actually created the walls of the red line. Oh yeah, absolutely. And has the power to destroy them at the same time. Yeah. I think it will be really, really cool. Um, but I definitely, well, one thing we do have proven though now is that the hat isn't the one piece because last chapter, he said, isn't it about time we go claim the One Piece? And then they proceeded to go away from Wano. Now, don't get me wrong, the hat could still be connected in some capacity, but at least in the broader sense, we know it's not directly the, the hat. Well, the One Piece could be Pluton, but that wouldn't make sense. No, 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 no. I don't- I don't think so. I think the- I think it's just a section of it. Like, One Piece- if anything, I get the feeling that we're gonna find out that One Piece is almost, like, the fourth, um, weapon. It's gonna be the four- the fourth great weapon. Well, it was always thought that the One Piece was, like, a key. Right. For the weapons, in a way, to, like, unlock their hidden potential. So, like, a part is retrieving it and learning what its potential is, but then the One Piece will unlock that potential then after. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Possibly. I wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself because I'm like, really? I should have I should have figured that out sooner, you know? Mm. Oh my god, I'm hungry! Alright, your spine is slowly depleting, but hey, you leveled up. <laughs> yeah, I feel that way already, man, don't worry. Give me one section, section. Give me one section, bro. Uh, bro boat, boat, bro. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Uh, chicken. Anyway. anyway, talk of the deep, a threatening vision, a day of blessing actualized by pain. When hope hath come from within, uh, and a bi virus was born on the wind. Happy birthday, daft virus 117. Now look south for trash, trash, uh, trash boat approacheth. <laughs> what if one piece is actually just one piece of gold or something anticlimactic like that? Get out of here. <laughs> My god. What is with people? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I love the one where the one piece is literally like the babies. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's... a mankini or something for Luffy. <laughs> I love that. Like a golden mankini. Yeah, that's the way to go. I mean, considering that, like, I'm the. Happy if it was that, but I appreciate that joke. I mean, considering that basically, at least I feel like, um, like in, in, I read it out to you, like he has this whole kind of like talk where he's like, um, is that enough? There you go. Um, yeah, like I, I talked to you recently about how, um, Uh, um, about how Ty- uh, not Ty Kubo, damn it. Oda said he was really hoping to make the most climactic ending for an anime ever made. Like, we know it's not gonna be some- something stupid. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be absolute bonkers. Yeah. Alright, time to guard my vegetables diligently. Uh, you're not gonna drive? Oh right, driving's important. And your birds are- Oh my god! <laughs> I was looking 
a chat! Okay, chat's so cute. The fuck are we talking about? What's One Piece? <sighs> <laughs> Do you want to start this conversation, Blue? Think about your answer very carefully, because both me and Adara are in chat, and we will. <laughs> For an entire stream, explain the entire storyline of Bleach to you. Oh, not Bleach, One Piece to you, okay? Do Yes, there is- And there is currently 1,055 chapters of it, with like 1,025 anime episodes, with like several large sagas. It's a long conversation, it's a very in-depth lore. Do you really- Do you really want this, okay? Do it, tell me, oh no. I did not plan that far, but pretend this is a threat or something. <laughs> oh my god. Hey ho, hey ho. Hi, Quasical. Time to talk about One Piece. Hey, anyway. What is what in Paranation? One Piece is an upcoming game set in the Meiji Restoration in Japan. What? I mean, there was. There's a. There's a uh, I need to make uh, a thing with Jiggy. Adara, guard my plants. Or make a scarecrow. Either one. I need to drive us out of here. Okay. Alright, how do we... How do we go backwards? How do I turn this on? Alright. And then... Go. Hey! That's a good start. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> well, screw it. Tell me about One Piece. <laughs> Never have I heard anyone say more words that I love. Okay. Oh, where do we even start, Dara? Should we start from episode one, or should we like yeah, try and? Start from the top in the eye. Right, right, right. Okay, it all starts somewhere in the East Blue. Actually, no, wait. Wealth, fame, power. These unstoppable forces. Uh, are held deep within, the within the heart of man. Of man. Yeah. <laughs> As long as people have freedom in this life, they can. Oh god, I, I can't remember the whole thing. From the earth. <laughs> no. Come along, come along, oh your hopes and dreams. Relay the entire One Piece story. In One Piece, you have to solve a puzzle with only One Piece, correct? All one million two hundred. No, I said 1,052 episodes. Are we moving forward or am I crazy? Uh, oh, nope, they're, they're not moving anymore. Oh, they're not moving at all. Wait, maybe I pressed something. Did you turn the engine? No, the engine's not on, hun. Okay, I must have pressed the wrong button. Okay, we're still going backwards. I just want to click this one. Okay, okay. I'm, af I'm afraid to try and start watching it because I know I will never be able to watch 1,000 episodes. It is worth it, Tom. Every single fiber of your being, by the time that you're like 100 episodes in, you will be like, uh, or maybe 200, maybe 300. I don't know. It doesn't matter if you... The point is, you will start living and breathing it. It will seep into every just pore of your body because you're just like, I am starving to death I, because I want to watch more One Piece, okay? Also, because yeah, literally restoring true imperial power or to <laughs> to not Japan. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, yeah, but seriously, just watch it a knock at a time. Take yeah. breaks. You you won't regret it. You won't regret it. Well, I mean, it's it's us. There's also people I've. I mean, someone came in on a stream at one point, and they were like, "I tried it. I got like 500 episodes in, and it's like that's a good effort. But how are you not just hooked by that point?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of commitment for not watching it all the way through. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I need to, like, oh my god. So, yes, One Piece was set during the Meiji Restoration. <laughs> Something. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Or is the puzzle missing just One Piece? Something like that. I usually only get through anime with a max of 40 episodes. Cowboy Bebop was good because there's only like 24 episodes or something. And that's fair. Like, I don't get me wrong. I don't. I mean, I've, I watch a lot of. I don't think we're moving. Um. One of these is not like the other. Um, it is not for the faint of heart. It takes a lot of effort to, to get through it. But I think it's like, I think unlike other animes, I still, I don't know why they're not working Adara, by the way. Um, 
The good thing about One Piece is that it maintains a good level of humor. It doesn't like reach a point where it's like, oh, this is like adult anime. We've gotten rid of most of the humor. It's still really funny and inviting and and like good vibes. Because I think like, I, I don't know about you guys, but like when it comes to like one of the best type of types of, uh, in my opinion, one of the best one of the best types of like, I guess, like power fantasies or something is the idea of like, there is something wrong with a country and you have the power to make a change you know like you as one person can drive a revolution or you as one person can actually fix the ink like the discrimination of this country like stuff like that and that's what luffy is luffy is literally someone who brings he brings love he brings happiness he brings friendship um out of the goodness of his heart to um drive to basically um I think I need to make another wheel. You think? You haven't grown in any further, have you? Because this happened last time. Actually, no, this happened last time. Maybe I should quit out of the game and quit back in again. Remember? Oh, yeah. Possibly. Possibly. So Luffy oh. is democratic. <laughs> yes. Luffy is the... <laughs> Luffy is the definition of freedom, and we'll get to that, okay? <laughs> we'll get to that. How do I start off with this explanation? Where do you think? Anyway, so I'll start off with the explanation that um, 20 years ago from our current storyline from the, the from the first episode, 20 years prior, there was a person who was called who called Gold Roger, aka Gold D Roger, um, who had obtained everything this world had to offer, and and, and he was eventually captured. And on, um, as he was being executed by the Marines, which is basically the army military force in in the world, um, he was like, "I left my treasure all together in one place. Um, you guys just have to find it." So this this astronomical, like people think it's wealth. It like you know it's probably just like a bunch of treasures and stuff like that. They're in one place. Um. In one place, in, um, there is like a massive treasure hoard, and the entirety of the world, like, it, it starts off this whole era of pirating for people to actually find the One Piece, to find the purpose of, um, you know, to find out the find out where this One Piece is and obtain all of all of like the gold and stuff like that. 20 years ago was 20, 2002. No, 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 not from us in the story, <laughs> in the world of One Piece. 20 years from the starting era, okay? Um, anyway, so that's, that's, that's the premise, right? There's, there's a secret place where there is literally a, probably a massive pile of gold. Um, at least that's what it is understood as. Or, or like, you know, or they don't know what it is. Huh? It's not working. Okay, all right. Well, if you want to quit out of the game, I'll let you quit first. I'm outie. Yeah, you. Um. Yeah. So twenty from twenty years to the current storyline. <sighs> um. Episode one. All right. <laughs> Um, we uh, find ourselves on a pirate boat in the middle of the East Blue. Now, the thing you need to know about the world is that the world is split into four sections, and I'm going to say technically five, six sections. But there is North Blue, East Blue, South Blue, West Blue, um, and then the Grand Line. And inside the Grand Line, there's the first half, which is called the Grand Line, and the second half is called um, the New World. Now, how this... Ha hmm? And the red line itself. Yes, and the red line itself. Um, so an explanation for the red line is, ba yeah, <laughs> there you go, quasicles on it too, um, is literally this massive piece of land. It's like a massive continent um, that's that protrudes out of the ocean, like by miles and miles. It's really, really tall. So um, that wraps around the entire world on one way. And then the other way, it's um, the Calm Belt. And the Calm Belt has a bunch of like monsters in it and stuff, so you don't really want to pass the Calm Belt. And that's basically what separates the whole world, and that's why it's separated into four sections. And then the Grand Line's somewhere in there, I, I think. I 
Wait, the Grand Line is in between the two sides of the Calm Belt, right? The Grand Line is inside the Calm Belts, yes. Yeah, that wraps around it. Yeah, okay. The Wind Nation, the Fire Nation, the Earth Nation, the Water Nation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not really, but yeah. Well, now I want to watch the anime. See y'all in a few years. Dude, it will not take you that long. <laughs> Adara can attest. Yeah, no, I think I... Oh. What was my record? You can watch, like, the first half of it in two weeks. If you're committed. <laughs> that was a bit... I was very committed. Are you still talking? No. Oh, okay. I'm I was like, trying to fix the boat. I loaded in and it still wasn't working, so I'm just trying again. Uh, okay, I'll cancel joining them. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, hand chat. Hi, Philip. Someone said they want to know the, the story of One Piece and now we're going to die this way. Welcome to everyone to the next 12 hour stream of me talking about One Piece from start to finish, which also, this, which sounds like a great April Fool's joke now that I think about it. You were here expecting me to play Stardew Valley? Uh, 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 that's not what we're doing here. I don't need to know anymore. Okay, I think I've heard enough. You can't tell me to stop now. How can, how could you? All right. I think go as far as he fights uh, along the pirate guy. Dude, that's a great, that's a great arc. That's only just the beginning. <laughs> and I know a lot of people say like, oh, like people hate animes where they say you have to get 50 episodes in before it starts getting good. But I would argue that all of, all of the starting of One Piece, it is good. It's just that it really starts kicking off when you enter the grand line. You know, like, it's a necessary good that you need to get through. And in hindsight, it's kind of like, oh, all right, now let's get to the good shit. It is literally the only anime that has good filler arcs, which is weird. Yeah, had like really good filler arcs. arcs. They're built in well. Huh, no, now I'm going to rant about Doom lore. No, 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 we said One Piece. You said yes, you're here now, okay? I watched it on Cartoon Network when there were like 24 episode binge sessions of One Piece. They had that. <laughs> this is important. Do it, Hannah. Do it. What am I doing? What am I, am I fixing the boat? Go boat. Yeah, no, they're still not working. So I don't know what's going on, mate. But you can get back into the world at least. Time to paddle our way out of here. <laughs> we talking all day about One Piece? Absolutely. Why wouldn't we? I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Oh, says you're just. <laughs> Can you just imagine? I just like, <laughs> I just like mute you or whatever the thing is. I mute you and have to make you listen. And you're like, oh no, I can't leave the stream. <laughs> Do the fights take like three episodes of the characters just talking about their powers? Cause if so, count me in. No, no. No, I think the fighting is really good. It's um, it's one of those Good things boy. where I would argue, like, it's funny because Adara and I have been watching Bleach at the moment, and it's one of those things where, like, there's some fights, like, we have, like, this fight between Ichigo and Grim Jow, and it was, like, three episodes long. Meanwhile, Azale Aporo has, ha has had about 20, 20 episodes, and he's still not defeated, and it's like, come on, Zael Aporo, get fucking... I say this, some of the fights are longer the, the longer you get drawn out. And obviously there's some where it's like part one of the fight and then there's like a bunch of like growth and the, of understanding and then there's like the second part of the fight, I would argue. But yeah, it depends. It goes to the fights and One Punch Man. <sighs> I haven't watched much my One Punch Man, but I'm oh, still insulted. It's just like he punches the man and John... Mm -hmm. like they're really short fights. Um. Press. 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 Uh. <sighs> hey, it's working. <clears throat> what? Yeah, dude. Yeah, slowly. That's, That's not how fast they should be going, dog. Well, oh, get you. It's going really well, and now it's going slow all of a sudden. Okay, I'll look away. Obviously, that's the problem. Yeah. 
whole point of One Punch Man is to satire the rest of the Garbo sh uh, Shonen fights. Correct. <laughs> I do know that. I have to admit, it always does irritate me that sometimes there's like fights that happen and you're sitting there and you're like, come on guys, have you not just obliterated this guy yet? I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole point is to draw it out and be like, oh no, is he going to die? And then of course he doesn't. It's like, because he's heckin' plot armor, bro. That's why Bleach disappoints me every single day. Anyway. Ooh, my potatoes are done. Anything good about One Punch Man is the first opening. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's harsh criticism, bro. But it is a good opening, so. Oh my god. What? what oh, is that? it is working now. Oh my god. The solution no, was it just. really doesn't like the new anchor. That's what's the issue. Oh. That is weird. Well, you can start driving the boat now. Time the anchor was down, it was stuffing up too, and I just removed the anchor, and all of a sudden it started working. Huh. That is weird, but I mean. It's like the anchor wasn't even down, and it still didn't like it. Yeah, it's like, is it this weird bug or something? I don't know. I might just put the old one back on. Potatoes. I want some potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You know, uh, all that jazz. All that business. Business. Okay. Oh, that's where the seeds are. Oh, okay. Oh god, it stopped again. Ew, watch the check. Oh my god, I'm uncomfortable that the mango, mango is diverting from the webcomic, but oh well. Damn, mango. No, can you- Sprinkle Google... positivity! Can you wiki something for me? Sure, what's up? Um, see if there's something about the anchors on the boat. Like, Raft. do they need to be in the central of the boat or something? Raft anchors. Yeah. Because that might just help us solve the issue. Whatever the issue actually is. Anchor control not working. Okay, <laughs> No, we know that. I'll say rather than the anchor not working, um, I, got, I mean like anchor not working with engine controls. Here we go. All right. Black Lagoon is also a good anime. I have not watched that one either. <laughs> I'm eating broccoli, potato broccoli soup. Nice, damn, this is level eight advert break. Oh shit. Nice, hydrate. Go go hand, have fun today and all the weekend. Will do, you too, you have fun, okay? Go do something fun. Much, okay, it's finished. It's okay, I just stared at my thing the whole time. Oh my God. Okay, let's see what this says. Recently developers added anchor level controls to this thing. However, simple is rather, is rather simple. The level control does not work. No, this is fucking what I just read. Oh my God. What? Don't worry, don't worry. How to fix. While it is true that some anchor levels are not working in engine controls, it is not due to any game bug. Neither is it an error that is the, that's troubling the characters. The problem is the anchor level in Engine controls works with a higher level anchor. No, no, this. Why? All right. What if I just say engine controls not working? I'll just say en. But 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 but. Yeah, you piece of shit. You thought you could get away? That's what I thought. Asshole. Oh, I'm gonna stop to death in a second. Ugh. I 
I'm eating the catfish. All of it is mine. I still can't believe you can eat a whole catfish and just not feel too thing. I don't think I've ever seen it hit eight adverts in a row before. Honestly, it's all fucked at the moment. Like they say, oh, you can control it yourself. And that's supposed to come in August, but like I like in the last month, they've basically made adverts all the way. Like they've just been making adverts. Like you could have a nine at once, you can eight at once, seven, five, 10. I don't think it's been higher than 10, but still, I they've just been really stupid. Yeah. Gourmet fish, more like gourmet wish. Engines, not working. Because too many foundations. I don't know where to find the solution to. <laughs> oh, is it maybe an anchor glitch? Uh, Just do anchor glitch. Raft. Oh. Anchor glitch. My raft seems anchored without any anchor. Okay. Getting so many NFT ads. I don't get NFT ads, but I also shun everything that's NFT, so that might explain it. Where are we going anyway? Hey, look, an island. Let's go there. <laughs> Why not? Our keys don't work anyways. <laughs> well, everything else works fine. Yo, how are we going to anchor down there? Wait, you don't have the other- don't, isn't the other anchor still around? No, um, I just filled up the hole. <laughs> I thought we still had the other anchor. We do. I just I need to put the hole in. And all right. Well, in. um, you can do that while we just sit here. It's all right. We can always drive around for a little bit. <laughs> or we could just cut the engines. I might do the same. In my summer car, I once lost a mortal character because he starved to death waiting for his fish to cook. That's me. Don't worry. Feels so, man. Feels. Uh, did you cut the engines? No. Yeah, a lot of people saying I just exit and re-enter the world. Okay, um, so... Right. Hi. Are we beached? Um, Are we good? Yeah, we've got an anchor now. Um, just beware that it is not guarded, so you can pull down the hole. Okay? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Thanks, Duff. Yeah. Just making it very, very obvious. Hannah, don't fall down here. Yeah. Anyway, one piece. <laughs> Just trying to fig figure out all our boat issues. Going on with one piece. So, you know, with with that as your 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 a good basis for the entirety of um the the world. You know, there is the world is split into giant sections. Um the world is split into like four major sections plus the grand line with the new world attached to it. And there, ooh, blue flower. Um, ooh, watermelon. Um, <laughs> sorry, distracted. And there is this thing called the One Piece that people are trying to find, and people theorize that it's it's at the end of the New World. Now, as in an explanation as to why you can't get to the end of the New World, is because um, there's this thing called Reverse Back Mountain, which makes it that there it's like a connection point between like if you think of the top of a mountain, there's like like the, you have the top of the mountain, and you have people can get in. And then it'll it, it streamlines them into the start of the grand line. So if you want to get to the end of the grand line, you either have to be able to cross over it somehow, or you need to be able to like go around the entirety of the grand line to get to the end of it. And that's why it's considered a big feat. Hello, Zvan. Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> sorry, I was worried about breaking my feet there. Dramatic sounds. Hi, Zvan. Svan, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to Effie, Clowns, Beans, Yo, Soul, and Jin. Much appreciated. Hey, yo. How you going, Svan? Svan Peace. Yeah, it's Svan Peace. We summoned him by talking about One Piece. That's definitely how it works. <gasps> My potatoes already. 
do 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 Well, one pineapple was taken. No. No. I know. I feel the same way, bro. Don't worry. Oh no, bro. Oh. I'll do it hard. How could you? Um, just did. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, talking. I like the level of just like disinterest we have in actually talking smack. Just, oh, oh you got me. <laughs> oh man, that I'm gonna be just wow. <laughs> oh no, the sharks are top the booty. No, how could they? Yeah, it's gonna get you from behind. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Are you secretly Jeff Bezos? <laughs> Honestly, I'm a man of the deep blue. Ah, uh, the deepest of blues. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the little shocked face. Just oh, wow, the deepest of blues. Wow. The shark just bit me. Bite it back. <laughs> no, you have to fight it for me. What? Why am I fighting it? Uh, cause I'm collecting ore. Right. And that's how we do things. One of us fights, the other clicks off. Right, okay, okay. I, I, I don't remember when this was the, the standard, but okay. Give me one second. You know what? I'm just gonna eat the food on me because I can't be bothered trying to find the box to put them in. Where are you? I'm in the water. Water, yo. What are you doing there? Oh, look, he's biting my goddamn boat, you son of a bitch. All right, where is he? Where'd he go? It's kind of nighttime. It's kind of scary. Mm, I can't see things in the night. Hashtag Sanji memes. Dude, oh my god. All of the Zosan stuff I see on my Twitter, I'm just like, I love it so much. Because <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, what? All right. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> I come down here and he just vanishes like, I don't want to eat Hannah. I'm going to eat Adara instead. Where are you? You did didn't save me. Yeah, I came down there and then the, the, the dude went away from me. Where are you? What edge? Oh! Um, just got bit in the um, face. Near metal. <laughs> Fantastic description. Thanks, Tom. So if you find scrap metal in the ocean, that's, that's where I am. All right. Is Sanji the one with the swords? Cause if so, I like Sanji. No, that's Zoro. Sanji, Sanji has the amazing legs. <clears throat> I mean, what? And the curly eyebrows. And the curly eyebrows, Blonde yes. Eyebrow. Blonde who Just likes to kick you in the knee. Yeah, basically. There you are, buddy. We'll, we'll, we'll get to all of that. <laughs> So the world starts with Luffy, who has this dream to find the One Piece, okay? Um, and and, king of the pirates. and he king wants, of the yes, pirates. he wants to be king of the pirates, which is what Goldie Roger was declared as. And he's like, I'm going to be basically his, his predecessor, predecessor. I want to be, uh, I, I want to be the, um, the king of the pirates. Um, because his understanding, he says this like way later on, but his understanding of being king of the pirates is to be the most free. You know, because the idea of being a pirate, you know, like you're not a, a whole, you're not, you're not held up to laws or anything like that. You're not held up to um, any sort of authority or anything. You're like, you have the most amount of freedom. And that's the whole point of, of, of Luffy. Luffy is about freedom. Um, yeah. My doom law got covered with subs. Was it? I don't think, dude, if it, the paragraph's too long, it won't send, so just as an FYI, I might have missed it, but, uh, oh my god, there was some! Oh my god! It's all there! Japanese. Wonder how they managed to L slash R brutalize the Leonins to Roro Noro. What? Lola Nyat? Lola Nice? What? Okay, wait, wait, I'll read it, I'll read it. 
In Doom Eternal, you fight against a bunch of corrupt aliens that are trying to kill the entire human race so their race can survive, but Doom Guy isn't having it, so he goes and instantly kills one of the three priests and then stops 36% of Hell's corruption and then go onto our ship where we are get a grenade launcher and then the next we go to the cult of space where we fight through an entire map just to be blocked by a challenge by the second priest. Then we go to an arena where we next we need we fight a heavily armored demon called a Doom Hunter and then we kill one, jump down a whole fight another two at the same time and then we kill a second priest. The Khan Makia gets angry. She's the whole reason why we have to do this and next she tells us to fuck off and transports the third priest to an unknown location. <sighs> All right. Breathe, God damn it! No, I've breathed now. Is is uh, Zora Rora Nora Zora is is based on the Lunar's real pirate. Oh, okay. I like Luffy. Please stop spelling Luffy incorrectly. It's L U F F. It's like Luffy, but it's not Luffy because that's 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 weird. <laughs> Think of Luffy and get rid of the F. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, he has a lot of like real life explanation, um, real life, um, things. It's Luffy in some countries. Really? Really? I thought that spelling would, that spelling at least would be universal. That's interesting. Well, it's actually really interesting because I don't think they can pronounce, they can't pronounce Oz in Japan. So no, they can. No, dar, dar, dar. The, the, the blah, blah, blah. It's, they can. But they, um, the L's and the R's are mixed around. So when they say L's, they sound like R's, and when they say R's, they sound like L's. So when they do English translation to stuff, it's sometimes mixed up because it's like, are they saying the R's or are they saying the L's? What? Isn't it? Oh, wait, no, maybe. Don't I don't know. All I can say is, I cook better than Sanji. <laughs> I believe it. I've never tasted Sardi's food, so I couldn't say for sure. It's true. But I'd like to give it a red hot go one day. Hell yeah. Now oh, the sharks found me again. Tragedy! There we go. I've been gifted a sub to this schmuck. Oh, this schmuck has been gifted a sub to my channel. Is Luffy's surname One Piece? No, it's Monkey D. Luffy. So he's technically Luffy, Luffy D. Monkey, but that's, yeah. Monkey. They, Cause he's a monkey. Well, kind of. It's a Luffy monkey with a D. He has very curvy thing, uh, arms. Puffy monkey? I don't know what that means. It's uh, monkey Dean's nuts. Get out of here. We're talking important One Piece business, okay? Obviously. <laughs> Have you got everything? Do you need me to stab a shark? Where are you? Oh, um, no, I haven't quite gotten everything yet. It's alright, he just looks oh, distracted right now. Going. Oops, autocorrect. I mean Luffy monkey. <laughs> Luffy D the monk? Luffy D monkey. Um, oh, but here I am sitting in the ocean waiting for him to attack me and instead he's like, Adara. You must be tastier than I am, Adara. Ooh, I found more and I'm about to die, so, you know. Oh, there we go. Collect the ore first. Where are you? You were oh, right you here a second ago. I was near you. I know. I was going towards you. That's alright, leave me behind, get the ore. <laughs> that is sad. I found three pieces, but I don't see- Ow, your body. No, that's not where I am. Okay. There's another three near me, though. Is he based on Monkey from Monkey Magic? I don't know what the hell that is, no. I'm going to say no. Anyway. So Monkey D. Luffy is our main protagonist, and um, the, the the first episode starts with Kobe. Now you might be thinking, who the fuck's Kobe? Um, well, Kobe is on Alveda's ship. 
Um, and Alveda is a really ugly looking, uh, Ugly looking pi woman pirate, but obviously she's the most beautiful in the East Blue, okay guys? It's important. All right? We need to build up her self-efficacy. Um, like good people. Egg. Um, she's the most be she's the most beautiful in all of the oceans, Miss Alveda. Wait, did you get the ore? I did get the ore. Okay, we can leave now. Okay. Um, did you get titanium? No, there wasn't any. What? <laughs> Crimes. So yeah, that was not on the islands, but I did- She gets hot eventually. Yeah, she does. Everybody, that's the rule number one of anime. Everyone gets hot eventually, okay? What is she? Like, is it a slick, slick fruit or something? Uh, yeah. I want to say smooth, smooth fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her skin gets really, really smooth and everything just slides right off it. <laughs> we should explain devil fruits. <laughs> Back up, bitches. Am I going the right way? Uh, removing the anchor. <laughs> and now we have a random hole in the middle of our ship too, so just... Shh, it's fine. There's a Super Mario 64 stream with 100 plus viewers. No one's talking in chat. Makes me think they're view botting. Maybe they're, dude, maybe they are all uh, lurking. You don't know, man. Um. Wait, fuck. Ass. Bitch. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's an internet rule. It is. Everything slides off. Ha! I'm gonna do it. Maybe slide on these mods. Oh, God damn it. This is what happens. Insofar as those monkey are based on the same archetypical monkey. I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, look, an island. I find out we turned all the way around and we're going back to the island we were just at. I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe. I'm doubting it now, but that's, it's too bad. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Um... I posted the YouTube link in the Discord general. Please, you need to see it. What are you talking about? It's so quiet. A stack of plastic right now. That's probably my own settings now that I think about it. Oh god, I just boosted my e oh, okay, we're good. Stop, bud. Being gay. Snake, Did you turn the engines off? Gay. The choice is yours, Snake, Snake, I don't like Lead the line. Well, one's Snake, out. Yeah, okay, this is where we just were. Shh. Shh. We're going a different way. Snake, you're where I have a girlfriend, right? That doesn't mean anything. I did not listen to any of that whatsoever. Can I give you some advice? Sure, Snake. Lay it on me. Abortion costs five hundred dollars. I Plan B Snake. is fifty dollars. Snake, the fuck. A condom is five dollars. Snake, why the hell are you bringing this up? But being gay. I'm Snake, gonna just finish Snake, it around. Not gay. The choice is yours, Snake. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like Lead the line. Snake. Not <laughs> gay. Yeah, we're passing the, the island. Snake, for God's sake. Be gay. <laughs> Sorry, let me. I gotta re say this for you, Adara. <laughs> wait, where is Dar? She is. She. She exists. Wait, she's on the boat, right? Yeah, there she is. She's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's just we're passing the island rather than. Yeah, because that's the island we were just on, wasn't it? I wouldn't know. I thought you wanted to go on it there. Actually, no, no, I think you're right, actually. It is a different island. Alright. I mean, it might have respawned everything since we left. True, 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 true. I posted that meme as a good meme. So the meme that Blue just posted was um, a snake from Metal Gear Solid being like going to I don't know who, but like there's like a friend and he's just like, yeah, we need to talk about something. Abortion is five hundred dollars. Uh, contraceptives is fifty dollars. Uh, or I think I think that's what it, whatever the whatever the second was, and a condom is five dollars. But being gay is free. 
It's like you could do it, man. Choose to be free. Be lead us forward in life and be like an astronaut, like you know, be a leader in this thing. And he's like, no, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. <laughs> he's like, come on, dude, lead lead the charge. All right, feel free to park the car at any point. Oh yeah, I am the anchor. <laughs> you are the anchor. You're the anchor in my life. Aww, aren't you sweet? You know, until there's like a simile saying that Jesus is supposed to be the anchor and then I'm like, oh, sorry, Jesus has to be the anchor, but um... <laughs> Jesus is a bit like... Sorry, but it fails. But yeah, they, anchors didn't exist back then. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly fucking shit balls. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. No swearing for the next five minutes. Give me a second. Oh god damn fucking ass bitch. <laughs> Fuck ass. Alright, I'm just getting it out of my system. Jesus is just like my stream avatar. What? That was some decent animation to boot. I'm so excited for the new DLC. Luigi Pinball is one of the new Ma uh, Mario Kart maps. I did see that. It looks fantastic. I'm excited to play that with Dara at some point. Yo, have you played the new maps? Nope. We could do that tomorrow because I have the maps. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was. I, I wanted to sit down and do the maps with you at some point. Um, I just uh, in my brain, it's also like, eh, we could wait until the end of next year and then play them all in one go. <laughs> you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're you're already planning to go get your nails done, go out and have food, and then come back in time for D and D to then have all of D and D. You know, like I I, I don't know, man. Oh my god! You don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Far fetched. Wave 2 releases August 5th. Oh, okay, so it's not out yet. In saying that, we still haven't done the first wave, but... The that's Pokemon? Okay. Farfetch'd? Yes. Fucking damn... Oh, damn. No, it, do it doesn't It doesn't count. It doesn't count if it's chat. It doesn't It doesn't count if it's chat, okay? If chat's... If I'm if I'm saying back what's, what chat is saying, then it doesn't count. Wait, why does... What? I'm I, I'm in a family. You know what? I'll just restart it. I probably fucked it up anyway. I just did anyway. <laughs> Shush! There's a thing. Family friendly stream. No 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 no. So I have a redeemable, which is family friendly, which means oh. I have to not swear for five <laughs> minutes. And if I don't do it, I have to restart. Now you can imagine my pain and suffering. One minute or something. Alright, restart. What's Does going on? Zvan, Zvan, no, don't don't make it ten minutes. Why would you do this to me? Five minutes is difficult enough. Okay, fine, the time is on. Hey, I already I beat it. Yo, I have an idea. Maybe you just don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dar. Thanks for the vote I'll of talk. confidence. There's a reason I'm the co-host. I'll talk the whole time. Okay. Yeah, but I, I wanna talk more about One Piece. If I, if I talk only about One Piece, how much am I going to swear? Theoretically. Ah! No. I don't know. I feel like there's still a risk with you. You're right. Anyway. So is alcohol allowed and family friendly? I mean, theoretically. 15 minutes, no, 5 minutes each. It's only, he's only redeemed it twice. Yo, Hannah, have you heard of Dragon Diary? No. But sounds like either an anime or some sort of sex move. <laughs> Can I say that? Is that allowed in, in family friendly? Family friendly just means no swearing. <clears throat> Your definition. I think it's left open to interpretation. You're right. Anyway, one piece. Uh oh wait, I need to drink some water first. We're still on the first episode, which makes this all even more hilarious. Anyway, Kobe is a lovely young dude who's intimidated by everything around him, and he's just he just lets himself get bullied by uh by the captain Alvida, in um, who believes that she's really beautiful and stuff. And again, it's just all to just kind of build up her own sort of self efficacy and her self uh, uh esteem and stuff like that. <sighs> um. And then what happens? Let me jump over here. Whoop. 
Um, and then they find this barrel. And the barrels, and they, they're like, take it to the storage room. It's a massive barrel. It's really heavy. And then, you know, uh, you know, you're kind of looking at it like, what's with this barrel sort of thing. And then Luffy jumps out of the barrel saying, I slept so good or well or whatever it is. And he accidentally knocks out some of the pirates, except for Kobe. And Kobe's sitting there just like, what, what were you doing in that barrel? Like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm going to be king of the pirates. And then it proceeds to kind of do the explanation of like, you want to be the predecessor of, of Goldie Roger? The one who obtained everything the world had to offer and get the legendary One Piece? <laughs> Basically, it's a CLDR. You remember the words really well. <laughs> I can't even remember that. I only remember the gist. I don't remember it word for word. I don't remember it word for word. I'm just saying elements of word to word. There's fragments. Yeah, no, There's the fragments video. in this small brain. <laughs> Death of a small brain, yes. Very small brain. Listen, if my brain can only hold in information about animes and uh, animes and video games, it's a very small brain and I'm disappointed in it. That's gonna do you well if you get this job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all you all you want me to do is put in numbers, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna care. Oh yeah, but it's gonna get boring. You're gonna need all that anime knowledge to keep you. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna turn around to you every couple of minutes and be like, you know, this like this thing coming out with like this uh, game and stuff like that, and you'll sit there and be like, Hannah, how are you thinking about this? You're in the middle of putting in data. I'm like, no, 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 hear me out. <gasps> chicken, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> yes, I did see the. Is it uh, is it an individual one? Is it a new one? Oh my god! Okay. Oh, that's good to know. Pokemon thing, cheating. Oi, bitch! Ah, it's shit! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. I made it four minutes. I made it four minutes. I was so close. Oh no! All right, I got him. I got him. It's fine. Did Hannah just come out? Come out of where? We did it, baby. I redeemed one. What? Ah. Okay, fine. 15 minutes. This is going to be so difficult. Kirby suddenly eats everyone and consumes the world, becoming God. That's true. Yeah, but One Piece has a lot of violence in it, but it's amazing. So who cares? Who cares about violence? Unless you're like a small three-year-old kid, who cares? It's all animated, bro. Anyway. And the blood isn't real. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know, they have this whole talk and then Kirby and then Kirby's like, wow, I wish I had like the same sort of confidence that you did, Luffy. I want I actually want to be a Marine and I want to eventually become a Marine Admiral because that would be awesome, basically. <laughs> And then Luffy's like, I believe you can do that. And he's like, wow, I really appreciate you saying that, Luffy. I've never had anyone really believe in me. I've been stuck on this ship with Alveda because she... Ac what what did happen? He accidentally became indebted to her. Fishing tree and got on the wrong boat. Yeah, accidentally got on the wrong boat. Literally. And pretty much just got abducted from there. So. Yeah, yeah. And works as a small hand boy. Um, anyway, so they go and uh, then... And then Luffy goes up onto the. They get found by Alveda, and Alveda's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash you, basically. I'm gonna kill you." And and you know, like while she's like kind of trying to be intimidating, she's like, "Kobe, who's the most be beautiful woman in the sea?" Uh, and then he's like, "Oh!" Instead of like you know succumbing to what she's saying and like doing what she says, he's like, "Not you, you ugly. You're ugly and stuff." Safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Luffy's like, "Good job, Kobe," and then proceeds to ba uh, to just smash Alveda into the next atmosphere. Hat on. What type of hat? What hat do you want me to wear, man? A lot of different options. I have cat hat, police hat, black and white hat, fedora hat, Zelda hat. Santa hat, but that's out of season. Um, tiara. A tiara? There's no tiara. 
I have a TR. Well, you have, have a, a TR. I don't have a TR. I have a halo. You have a halo. There you go. Cat hat. Yeah. Oh, damn it. But the sound. If violence doesn't fix your problem, use more violence. Don't do that. That's not a good idea. That's how I solve my drinking right. headache. <sighs> I hope you're happy. <sighs> anyway, so Luffy s smashes Alvita, gets on a small boat, and travels away on the boat with Kobe going to the next island. Um, because Kobe talks about um, this person called Rora Nora Zoro, um, who's apparently uh, a pirate hunter, who, you know, so he's like a bounty hunter for pirates. And Luffy's like, he sounds like a cool guy. I want him on my crew. So they go to seek him out, basically. Cute. No Thank sense, you. Cool with it I know, right? I feel like when you think about it in hindsight, it's like, oh. Because I always think, man, we never really hear much about, like, the bounty hunter side of things in One Piece. But then it's like, you know, it's like one of those things where, like, Z you know, like, Zoro, like, at the start of Alabaster, he's like, oh, I know, I know these Mr. Threes and Mr. Twos, like, all the stuff around um, Baroque works because he got a, because he got a um, like approach to them by him. He's still referred to as Pirate Hunter Zoro. It's like, yeah, for the know, longest time. The pirates now. <laughs> Actually, no, you're right. He is still referred to as Pirate Hunter, isn't he? Yeah. It's like one of those things where it's like, why though? Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. I mean, like, even like, even Sanji has gone there. from. I mean, admittedly, Sanji only just changed to Vince Smoke, but still. I'm just saying. They could have changed it ages ago. They could have, they could have, I agree. They could have called him Three Sword Zoro. Ah, and yes, Three Sword Zoro. <laughs> well, they, they call him San Zoro. San <laughs> Zoro? That'd be kind of cute. Wait, what's Sword? Is it some <laughs> Huh? Zan Zagan Pak And that's episode one. <laughs> episode two. They go into the onto this marine base island looking for looking for uh Zoro. And uh, while they're walking around, they, they walk down the middle of the, the strip and they're like, I wonder if we could find someone to, to talk about, to talk about, to find Zoro is around here. Something, something, words. Yeah. Um, I wonder who we talk to to try and find information about Rora Nora Zoro. And um, everyone on the streets like kind of shirks away at the sound of the voice, uh, this, this, at the saying of the name. Um, and they were like, man, that was a weird reaction to have to Rora Nora Zoro. And then, and then he's like, maybe we, um, well, I need, he was like, well, I need to go find and talk to someone called, berries. what? Sorry, I found berries. Oh, okay. Well, I need to find someone called, uh, Captain Axehand Morgan. And everyone shucks away on the street away from him. And it's like... Well, why? I don't understand why they might react to Pirate Hunter Zoro that way, but why would they react to Captain Axe Hand Morgan that way? Anyway, so eventually they come across this little girl. That well, they come, they find Zoro in the middle of this massive, um, this massive like area where he's tied to a pole. Um, and turkey over here. What? There's another ostrich looking perky over here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did see that. I didn't get a good look at him because I think it was nighttime earlier, but um, I need to go look to see if it's a different type of chicken. Okay, we have one that looks like a, a hawk, a vulture, and one that looks like a blue boy, so. I think we need a gray one, maybe? Gray one? I also have this one gray. Um, way to go. Alright, put the you berries away. Here. Here he is. Um, I think that's brown. Maybe. Okay, well, I gotta go. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Blue. <laughs> I'll tell you more about One Piece a different day.
you will never escape. <laughs> as long as I'm alive, I will be able to tell you fun One Piece facts. Anyway. That you cannot take from my soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, you right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to find a way to jump down here. Whee! <laughs> it's really funny that you're like... <laughs> I don't know, I find it funny that you're... That you're like, man, how do you remember so much of this? Meanwhile, my brain's like, I'm not remembering enough of this, despite the fact I'm basically reliving the anime in my brain as I'm like saying it. <laughs> Yeah, well, see, I'd just be saying dot points. Like, they catch up with Zoro, then they take down Axe and Morgan. But that's then... not fun! I know. I'm not good at storytelling, though. Which is ironic. <laughs> not think about it. Not really. I, I you're, you're, you're the one that wants uh, people to do better case noting. I am. But that's very objective and dot pointy. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what you're good at. <laughs> So it's not really ironic. If anything, it's just reinforcement of your pattern of behavior as of late. No, like, I'm not good at storytelling. It doesn't mean I'm bad at stories. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Han what? talks about One Piece, yes. Well, in Monkey Magic, a guy called, called Monkey causes a bunch of mischief and stuff, and I can't really remember what happens, but it's a great show and it's real old. Sounds about right. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like inspiration for it to a certain degree. There's a lot yeah. of inspiration for One Piece. So like, like there's. Like, they go into like Greek mythology and Norse mythology yeah. and fairy tales and like just literally any pop culture reference from almost every corner of the world. Yeah. He just, it's incredible. From China, um, from Japan to references on probably like American culture to references to. Um, and like even some of the yeah. characters are based off like real, real people life too. people. Like, this yeah. one based off Michael Jackson. Eustace uh, Kid. Uh, what? Well, there's Kidd. a white beard. There's a black beard. There's a brown beard. <laughs> Isn't there a blue beard now? I feel yeah, like I heard something about a blue beard. Oh no! Wait, nope. That was that was the Wolf Among Us. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit called journey of the west it's an inspiration for a lot of things monkey magic is basically a direct retelling oh okay i feel like luffy is definitely at least slightly based on monkey oh yeah like the kind of point as i've said like the whole point of luffy is he is he's like a silly funny guy who just kind of does what's right and i think that's what makes one piece so good because it's one of those things where it's like sure there's always, like, he always wins in the end and stuff like that because that's the whole point. He's the protagonist. Um, I think, like, he has an emotional journey, but he's also still, like, he never lose sight of, like, what's important, which is the people. The, he, he recognizes, like, he can make friends with this one person and he's like, I'm going to help this person save their country. You know, like, he just makes these big decisions that other people would probably be like, why the hell, like, what What do you think we could do? You know, like, there's nothing that we can do about it sort of thing. But Luffy, you know, makes this friend and he's like, no, this person is my friend and I want to help them and I will do everything in my power to help them, even if it means I die. Because that's, and he, and he reinforces that in Logtown, which we're nowhere near to ex explaining, but there's, there's a place uh, called Logtown um, this is about 50 episodes in, maybe like 48, um, and, um, and he's basically like, hey, you know, he, like, he has this whole, like, moment where he thinks he's going to die, and he, he smiles, um, which, the, you know, and which is a continuing, um, perspective in the entirety of, uh, of One Piece is this kind of smiling at your deathbed, which is basically saying, you know, like you in that moment, you have no regrets. Like even if you do die, you know, you've lived life to the fullest. You've tried to achieve everything you possibly can. And therefore death does not fear you. And it's that, that smiling in, in the face of death, that's kind of, 
that propels um i want like it's the thing that kind of propels uh you know revolutionary kind of movements and it's what p compels people to be like i want to like i want to be like old roger or something like that it inspires people did you play one piece game which one piece game there's like there's like there's like video games playing through it Actually, if you wanted to watch me do that, I have, uh, where is it? I have, I bought it because it was really cheap at one point. I have One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, which should technically tell through all of the story. <laughs> Pardon. Obviously not super accurately, but I could always like just fill in the points and stuff like that as we go along. And I think the other thing about like One Piece, it's just it has fantastic characterization. Um, you know, like I, I, you know, like it's really funny how you can if you think about it, like Oda is a thousand episodes, uh, a thousand and more episodes and uh, like chapters and episodes into the manga. And yet we're still being introduced to fantastic new characters that have new vendettas or new goals and stuff like that. You know, it's not like, oh, he's run out of ideas. He hasn't run out of ideas yet. And I'm done to watch it. You play it whenever you want. Hell yeah. Goals, all right. Might do that at some point. Not quite yet, but um. I don't know, it's one of those things where it's like, I know I would be- ow. Um, I know I would be happy to sit and like, play through it and like, and talk about it and stuff like that, but I don't know how much other people care, because um, I talk about One Piece sometimes a lot. And people are like, most people, again, like, have the reaction of like, rolls their eyes, ugh. You know, kind of like, it's really long, I don't- and I have no intention of playing it kind of mentality. Um, despite the fact it's a fantastic story, world, everything, and it's worth it. World Seeker was fun. I watched Adara play a bit of World Seeker. It looks so good. I'm really excited about One Piece Odyssey coming out this year. I was really hoping um, when there was doing announcements the other day, I was really hoping we'd find out more information in relation to it, because it's still supposed to come out this year, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Did I even, did I even last 15 minutes? Have I not sworn? I, I'm, I'm in disbelief now. I don't believe, I know I've been talking about One Piece the whole time, but my brain doesn't believe it. Yeah, what's so good? That's what it was called. World Seeker is really cool. Odyssey is coming out, which is supposed to be like an open world RPG with the straw hats and stuff like that. So, Heckian holding out for that. There's a lot of Musou type One Piece games, but I don't like them because One Piece isn't just a fighting show. You you right. It's an adventure show. Yeah, I think that's why I bought Warriors. You know, like I think Warriors is a fun like, hey, you know, I'm fighting and stuff like that. But like, yeah, like One Piece is incredibly depth. It has massive amount of emotional depth and like historical depth as well as um, where is our boat? Um, <laughs> um. As well as, like, political. There's a very political depth as well. Oh, Ugh. all right, we're good. Um, but huge. You seem passionate about it, so I don't mind. I like seeing people passionate about things. Hell yes. But a huge portion of the fan base are just power scaler types that that are only into the into the fights and hope powerful and how powerful everyone is power scaler types that are only into the fights and how powerful everyone is okay i never really think of it like that I always think about like the bigger implications behind it and as kind of like a tldr to you to um to you uh boat um, how do I put this in a TLDR? <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> me trying to very broadly state the, one, the, the entire point of One Piece. Okay. The broader point of One Piece is basically like theor 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 uh, this is kind of like a generalized theory of the concept of it is 
the world is actually all controlled by a dictator that's controlled by the basically the marines who all know nothing of course um because you know they're they believe they are the law um when in reality they're actually they actually aren't aware that they're protecting a a dictator that's basically controlling the entire world through misinformation uh, and power um and um about 900 years ago from the current storyline approximately um the entire history of the world was erased for a hundred years so there's just this random section of a hundred year history that's just gone from the entire history of the world huh i can't hear you very well sorry my bad that's all right 100 years from 800 years ago was erased yeah um and you as far as we understand basically what happened was there was the, and this, again this is most of this is theorizing but our general understanding was that there was a massive war um and between about slavery between the people who are the celestial dragons who are like the dictators and people who are basically in charge who are basically lording over the entire world and um the subspecies so sub subspe the different species of in races of people which is um the sky people from skypia uh the fishmen the the the, the fishmen from fishman island which are all again have like feature fish like features and they're sold in the black market for a and lot there's like a stack of different humanoids like people with long legs and then there's a whole like land where they have long arms and then there's a whole uh, pirates as well uh sorry not pirates giants 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 um so they have all these different humanoid species as well and, and it's each island has the different and own technology and everything as well yeah so it's all like really diversified different cultures and stuff like that oh uh, where am i going where am i up to here you want to help me under the ocean? That'd be great. I, I, I will. I, I was going to go jump into the ocean earlier, and then it was like, oh, I need should go back and get food and water. Sounds like real life. Well, yeah, and that's the cool thing. Like, it's, it's so intricate. Like you, yeah. um, it's like, it's uh, like a political, socio-political commentary on real life. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Um. What was I gonna say? So the Musou games all about fighting are right up their alley. They regularly complain that oh no, the Frankie Very fight was mostly off screen. Where? I uh, Frankie's fight was pretty. I don't know what. I don't. I mean, honestly, I don't. I don't really understand what you mean. We see a lot of fights from different people. Then the next post. Wow, these arcs are dragging on. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I feel like the fact that all of Wano, I think Wano was in a weird sort of way, like the, it's fairly concise while still being really long. <laughs> I mean, it feels like Wano was the first arc where we've had so much lore dump. It's um, like, there's so much information that's kind of stacked in amongst everything else. Like it feels long. But it's, it's yeah, it, like the point is, is that it's law heavy. Anyway, what are we talking about? Um, what, we, what does TLDR mean? It means uh, too long, too long didn't, didn't read. read. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like the the biggest story behind uh, One Piece is this like again like this really big kind of socio-political issues that are happening um that other people just aren't aware of um and i think like it's really cool because uh one piece is very much like you know i was talking about how like one piece really doesn't hit it's like some people could say it doesn't hit it it doesn't get good until you're 50 episodes in i I think it's one of those things where it's like when you get past Alabaster, things start kicking in. I realized last time I read, um, I started uh, watching through it was that as soon as you get past Alabaster, it starts introducing a lot more characters and a lot more wider world building. 
Mm, it does. Like Before that, it's very siloed to like make you think that everything will finish with the end of Alabaster, and then you're like, oh no, the story continues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have like more stuff going on, and you're sitting there, and you're like how does this connect to everything and then it connects and you sit there and you're like holy fucking shit how does this all connect and oda's really really good at foreshadowing oda's the author by the way mm. um but he's he's been immaculate at his foreshadowing like the stuff that was in the first chapter that foreshadowed something that we didn't even see coming and it wasn't until like you see the chapter and then you go back to the first chapter and you're like holy shit that was foreshadowed back all the way in the first chapter like, yeah yeah he's, he's been in this for the longest haul like i don't think there's like many authors that can say they're this committed to a novel or a book or a series yeah in Oda, um in like any yeah. country yeah like maybe george R. R. martin was close yeah still, I think he was just <laughs> whether he did it well or not in the end is a different commentary yeah that's true um well, i heard the books about it in the series so. that's true are there a lot of filler episodes well see the good thing about one piece fillers is that they're kind of added on in like it builds on stuff without completely detracting away from it what do i mean yeah. like one piece has a really interesting format in the sense of that because you're going from island to island it's really easy to make a filler where they go to a different island they meet all these nice new characters and then it's like cool you know like thanks for helping us or like it was nice meeting you and then they can leave feeling yeah. you know like like a lot of other animes unfortunately suffer from not being able to have such a format because like, fucking bleach. like bleach because bleach bleach has fillers right and they're like 40 40 episodes you know like 30 40 episodes long but every single time at the end of the arc it's basically like this person doesn't exist anymore we'll never talk about them ever again <laughs> not just that but they put them in the middle of the actual storyline too yeah it's done really poorly. You just jump into a new storyline while you're in the middle of one already. So there's like, it's it, it, there's no kind of continuity. Whereas with the One Piece, that does kind of feel like a continuity, but you could skip that turtle island too if you wanted. Yeah, um, like it's it's something where you're like, oh look, they're enjoying themselves on this random island. That's cute, and then you just go about your day. Yeah, yeah. And it works well on that. I know there's a few good ones for Naruto. Not that I've watched them, but I, I've, I've heard good things about them. Um, but I know that like with watching Naruto, like it's been it's been a struggle trying to pay attention to it because there's just things that happen that my brain's screaming at. Like, why? That sounds horrible. Uh, that's like those. It's all just a dream stories. Well, yeah, exactly. There's like so the so in so in bleach. There's this filler. Oh look, I found you. Um there is a filler. Uh, I'm trying to think of which filler to talk about. It's really weird, because there's I'm I'm gonna talk about two different fillers. Okay, one filler is a really good lead into other things, and it is kind of mentioned in the in the future, but it's also not in the anime. Like, there's no real like Again, you can skip that entire filler and it doesn't mean anything because it actually doesn't really add to the story a lot more. Does it maybe establish a few things? Yeah, sure. But like the, the bount arc is arguably, it's okay. It's, it's, it's good, it's okay, but it really does not add to the bigger story that's happening. Meanwhile, there's this other filler that happens later on called the, uh, called the Roricchio arc. And it basically just starts in the middle and basically kind of resets things like oh there's this person and they're the new royal family and like there's this dude who's a captain and he's yeah, in charge no sense in the context of anything that's going on <laughs> yeah because in the actual anime like they're in the middle of this big major fight that just ended and it's like here's a filler in the middle of it and it's like why are you here <laughs> you shouldn't be here the other good thing about the fillers in One Piece is that they um, actually refer back to the characters later in the anime as if they were canon the whole time. They do? Um, yeah, no, so in the fillers, um, where there's 
the marine admirals, and this is where it's most common, but like in Marine Florida, they actually brought that character back again and kind of recycled him. Oh, did they? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they do. So he's like a filler character, but they bring him back. Just <laughs> as like a like background character, it's fine. Um, you know, so it was, it's a nice little like nod back to its fillers. Like, <laughs> yeah, this was this was cut in the whole time. <laughs> like, if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know it's a filler. Now I'm really curious. I've never I've never re watched through a lot of the fillers of One Piece. That's uh, yeah, I read that. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, One One Piece is just it's just amazing. Like, and I think it frustrates me when I ha hear criticisms of it because usually it's from people who are just like it's too long, and it's like, yeah. like it's, it's like, not about it being long. Uh, it's One thousand chapters, and I don't want to read it. It's like, well, then that doesn't make it bad. It just makes it long <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah it is long but i think like i would argue that probably at least 70 percent of people who are like oh, man this is long um all right but i want to try and get through it usually by the end of it are like massive fans and they're yeah, just they're like oh i'm so happy i've come across this anime in my life yeah, yeah, because it has fantastic characters. It's really cool. In um in last month, there was a chapter where Oda basically said trans rights, and it was just so wholesome. And he said this in Pride Month too. It was just, it was so good. Um, you know, like he also has he has this incredible like awareness of like of like he's very progressive and stuff like that and that's reflected in his writing of like even like there's even an arc where he talks about how old laws are holding back you know these people like the generations of of people who are like i want to like you know like they can't give blood to a human being between the fishmen and the human beings and did you know one of the five star generals was based off one of the last communist leaders in the russian USSR. <laughs> no. Yeah. I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised exactly. We're just gonna see a character that looked like Vladimir Putin at some point. Well, there's probably already one in the. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I actually want to go over and show you now. Um, I honestly can't criticize it because I haven't seen much. And exactly, that's the point. Like other people are like, too long. Like, and like I think there's sometimes like moments where I'm like. You know, like, people can watch, you know, 500 episodes of it and be like, you know what, that was a good go around. But I think, like, I think it's one of those things where it's like, some people watch anime to just enjoy a quick storyline. One Piece is not a quick storyline. Like, if you need to be kind of, you need to be invested in order to go through it all. If you're used to watching... If you're used... That's why I say you need to watch it one arc at a time. Because you can literally just stop watching it at any arc. Mm. And feel satisfied still. Yeah. The arcs do have a kind of ending at each island. Yeah. Um, you know, you like, don't have to keep watching the whole thing if you're not up for it. Yeah. You can watch it arc by arc slowly over the course of time, or you can binge it <laughs> for like two, for like three, four weeks and just try and get through all of it. You know, like it's, it's your choice kind of thing. Um. We got we got weeb into it, so there's someone in, in chat. They don't drop by a lot, but he sometimes in my Discord, I see him on Twitter a lot. Um, the communist weeb, he, um, we talked him into getting into One Piece, and now he waits every single week for the new chapter, <laughs> uh, for the new for the new anime release. He hasn't he, he's not actually he doesn't read the anime. He doesn't read the chapter. He watches the anime. Blah blah blah. Um. Mm. I'm gonna watch it all in one day. Physically not possible, but I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Go on. Wait, how many? Wait, so, okay, if we say a th 1,000, let's say 1,020, let's just say that 1,000. I think we realized if you watched it end to end, um, you could watch it in a month. Really? That's without sleep. Time to sure go. <laughs> I'm actually curious. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google it. Give me a second. I want to get back on the boat. We did the math recently. Is this how much the the boat has been chewed down by the shark? You probably. God damn. Well, I went around and got a bunch more uh, like stuff. Yeah, no, I'm almost done. I think. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this. How long? 
How long would it take to watch One Piece? <laughs> See my Google search notes. The episodes all range between 22 to 24 minutes long, using the latter as a norm and multiplying it, multiplying it by- this is by 927. It says about 16 days, so um, 0.5. So let's just up that to maybe 17, 18 days now. It'll take, it'll take you 18 days. That's of course if they watch it without ever sleeping or taking a break. There you go. So it'll take you at least a month to get through. If you sleep at all. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I can go a month without sleep, easy, but you have to attend work. <laughs> That's the big si uh, clincher. The um, other thing, too, is if you're a fast reader, it might actually be faster to read the manga. Yeah, but I think there's some... Alternatively. Like, la the later you get in the manga, um, there's some things that I would argue don't translate as well. Um, yeah, that's fair. Unless you like watch it visually, kind of thing. I mean, I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong, but like, like at the moment, right? Like, there used to be like tons of chapters where it would show Luffy show slowly beating up Doflamingo, for example. Um, when I but first did One Piece. I read it all. Mm. I, I don't. I read it all since the start. So. Yeah. You made me read it, so. Man. I did. I forced her into one piece. She- we were- so our parents went on a cruise without us, and Adara was like, here is all of One Piece, like, all- every single chapter, like, you know, like, uh, you save the image and then paste it in sort of thing. Um, um, you have to read all of this by the time we go back to the parents' place, because we were staying with our grandparents. And um, that's what we did. And we had this whole joke of like, okay, resume positions. <laughs> because all we did, like our parent, our grandparents were disappointed in us, obviously, because we weren't going outside and socializing. But um, we, we literally spent that entire like week or two sitting on our beds, on our laptops, reading One Piece or something. <laughs> it's a great time, it's a great time, worth it. Um, but yeah, no, like, take take your time with it. Again, watch it arc by arc, watch it a little by little. I think that's the good thing about One Piece, is that it does, like, I think, it, it like, it starts off with, you know, like, one episode, three episodes, five episodes. Like, it kind of builds up the first bit. And then, and then you have, like, the bigger arcs that kind of happen later, that, like, suddenly arcs are, like, 20 episodes, then the 30 episodes, then the 40 episodes. Um, then they're like 50 to 60 episodes, um, and then they're 80, and then they're 100, and then they're 120, and I wasn't expecting to see you there, <laughs> oh my god. The I, real life version. I told you, I had to show you. So, that's Gorbachev, oh, okay. the last leader of the Soviet Union, and that's the five-star general. <laughs> and then they've compared the Dalai Lama with <laughs> the other five-star. I mean, that does sound right. I always, th I always felt like, like looking at them, they looked like real people, but I didn't really know who or anything. Uh, yeah, I think he's more Mahatma Gandhi than the Dalai and They're all supposed Lama. to be old dictators, basically, so whatever. Yeah, but yeah, he's pretty much copied the pattern yeah, on the head. That's which funny. I just kind of love, because I was like, that's a diff that's an interesting design, and then you realise it's based off a real person, you're like, whoa. Abraham <laughs> Lincoln? Mm, yeah. Maybe. I don't, I don't quite believe it, but Fidel Castro. <laughs> well... Mm. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. <laughs> to be entirely honest, I probably won't ever watch it. Sorry, unless it's suddenly single one day without the fear of my wife's judgment, then I probably won't watch it. Unless it was suddenly single one day. Unless I was suddenly single one day without the fear of my wife's judgment, then I probably won't watch it. Why be worried about your wife's judgment, dude? She might get into it with you. Drag her into it. Season. Although that's Australia, I don't know where you live, so... I don't think you should be worried about your wife's judgement. I mean, again, you can always, like, uh, watch it sneakily when she's sleeping. <laughs> you go 
and get a motel and watch on the television there for a month. And she just looks like She's like, you're cheating on me, aren't you? And you're like, no, it's not like that. I, this anime, this, this streamer got me really into this anime. <laughs> and I didn't want you to judge me. Here, I'll show you my history. <laughs> I like the idea of like she like goes into like you know she you know she's like she like goes to talk to the other people who are like renting out the place they're like do you know what this man has been doing sort of thing and they're like yeah I always hear the TV on and him screaming like Ikzo and I'm gonna be king of the pirates <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing in there but uh must be something really kinky <laughs> Uh, are we done here? I think so, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of scrap on this side of the boat just down there. If you want to get it. But I don't want to risk the shop again. <laughs> uh, wait, where? Sorry? Over this way, where I'm standing. Right, okay. Yeah, it's just a bit more down there in the ocean. I'll just have a- I'll have a look, but, uh... Actually, my hook's gonna break in one hit. Oh no, two hits. All right. <laughs> I got two more pieces of copper, it all counts. You'll be happy to know we got some more titanium on this island. Pog, that's what I like to hear. So how close are we to basically being like, yeah, we let's go to the final island? Um, couldn't tell ya. <laughs> Fair. I mean, we've kind of made most of the stuff now, uh, but we haven't done like the upgraded gear grill, all of the upgraded petrol stuff, all the upgraded batteries. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really worried about any of that stuff. I don't know about you. I mean, well, mm, I think um, I need to look at my achievements. <laughs> what do I need to do to get my achievements? Uh, scrap metal. Oh. Shuri thinks I'm immature and she hates anime. <gasps> We've honestly had a lot of trouble in our marriage lately. I don't think we're going to last. It's not complicated, but yeah. That's why I've been on Twitch a lot. I'm kind of split. We're, we've kind of split with while still living together. She says she needs some space, but it's getting worse every day. Sorry for the depress depression dump, but that's the last I'll talk about it on stream. It's okay, man. I mean, like, like it, it's difficult and like we're here to listen. I may not have any good advice about it, but, you know, like, if you need to get something off your chest, you can. Yeah. But. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. As long as you still have friends and family that love you, then that's what matters. Still have a support network, basically. And we have bells a beep. So, what else do we need in life, right? Yeah. Bells of Beath, Ma Malakoth. Oh, and I was her scene, Lucifer Jerry. God bless you, Jerry. We gave all of our we gave all of our pets like really demonic names, demise, and then we just have Jerry, and we love Jerry. <laughs> um, I think we need to shave Jerry. What? Please shave Jerry. How could you say that? Oh right, you need like you need all the wool. I keep forgetting. My brain's like, grab the eggs, keep on going. Because like what we really need is the fur to make more armor. Right. To the be safer at the next island. That's what we really need right now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I got you. If you prioritize the wool. Do we have? Do you do you have the shears? They should just be in one of the tool chests. I know, I just don't... Oh, yep, nope, there it is. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I literally have some in my inventory. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> High brain moves. I mean, the next island we come across that has a Jerry, we'll... we'll I'll, I'll happily catch another Jerry. Yep. <laughs> Which container... What's the time? I'm getting a bit tired. 9.30. And if you still intend on waking up early to, um... To, uh...
do things. Get your nails done. Get your nails done, Ryan. Depends when you want to sleep. Fuck you, fucking Sorry, I'm definitely not swearing at a shark. Come at me, brother. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was close to dead. I really want to watch more One Piece. <laughs> Adar and I stopped watching One Piece because we're waiting for the current arc to finish being animated before we continue watching it, or at least to get close yeah. to it. Um, but it, God, it's 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 getting difficult. Like, because <laughs> I'm just like, oh, like there's this one part and it's really good and uh. Thanks. I honestly have no support either, but your stream has kept me going. I've been trying to be an adult about it. I think she's just grown apart from me. It's a long story, but I've been struggling for a couple years with depression and anxiety. I think she's gotten sick of it, but life goes on and I have to learn what to live with it. I think, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't counsel the counselor, <laughs> quote unquote. Not saying that counselors can't get help, but um, it happens. Like, I think, like, if, if someone in a relationship, if, if you've been in a relationship and one of the people have depression or anxiety, it's, a, it can be really difficult. Like, it can be either camaraderie in the sense of that, like, look, we're suffering together, we're gonna get through this, or it can be, um, it can be like a really testing point if you've never had moments like that before in the past, or they may struggle to understand it even. You know, like, you know, you have your days where you're sitting around and you're like, I feel like I can't do anything, and you feel horrible, and that, and you, you, like, they don't allow you to have your lazy days, so to speak. That's not necessarily being lazy either. It's just those days where you're like, I literally feel like I can't emotionally cope with anything right now. Um. God, the shark's bitten so much. Um. Buys a beep boop. Hi, cat. Have you seen Mob Psycho 100? I haven't. I've watched the first episode and I, I do want to watch more, but I just, it's one of those things where it doesn't 100% grab my attention. So I'm, I, but I do want to watch it because I know a lot of people like reference it and stuff. Watch Spy and Family. Spy and Family's good. I did, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, the point is, is that it can like having those sort of things is really a testing point if you don't have if you're it, like depending on the type of person that you have a, a relationship with um or just a friendship with even and stuff like that and um yeah i think you know it's just like it's one of those things where it's like it's it's frustrating it's sad but you can get through it obviously um And uh, a life. <laughs> uh, you know, you might come across someone who's even better for you, you know? I think that's also another thing. Like there's always the, the possibility that you'll come across somebody who's, you know, who can relate with your struggles a lot more. And because they relate with your struggles, like they're able to stick with you more when you're having those moments. Um, and it will be worth it to live for that person. And even if you don't have, and even if you don't find a person like that, then I think, you know, like it's about reestablishing your own sense of peace. Um, I think. You know, like when, like I think that's that's an important thing to to do if uh, if you do end up like separating from her. You know, it's you know try and be comfortable with yourself again, um, even when you're alone. You know, like to still be able to find peace in in loneliness, so that you can kind of carry yourself forward and not be afraid to start new things and find new communities and stuff like that as well, so. Yeah. I mean, I've had depression for most of my life, sadly. 
Um, I'm still young, so it makes sense. But, um, like, I've only just, like, figured out how to kind of love my independence, I think. Um, because, you know, like, I've always been stuck in the idea of, like, being in love with the idea of love, and if I just had someone, then that would solve things. Um, but it's not until recently when I got, like, my first job and stuff like that, I've actually gone, fuck, I don't need anyone. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I'm, I'm perfectly happy as I am, and I just um, feel like a more fulfilled person just, just from getting a job, like, um... And I think I've just, I've never felt so comfortable with myself because um, I just feel capable of actually looking after myself as well. Um, yeah, so like, seriously, just do what you need to do. Yeah. And again, like, I think it's just for, like, remember to not be too hard on yourself as well. Like. Yeah. Uh, you know like if you do need to have days where you need to just basically sit around mope and cry then like take that time for yourself um yeah, do it. yeah. i love you to cry in the shower like God, right I don't know bed. why. I don't. I. I don't. I rarely ever cry in the shower. Crying in the shower just seems so unsatisfying to me because I guess like the whole idea is like you, you know tears? yeah. <laughs> when there's a shower of rain around you. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, my brain's like, when was the last time I actually cried in the shower? Like, pff, never. Like, well, no, no, definitely not never, but I, I yeah. Anyway, not, not the point. Uh, sorry, let me read back through. Um, I've thought about it a lot. We met when she was 16 and I was 19. We've been together for 10 years, so it's natural that we'd start to drift apart. There's a whole lot more to it all, but it's way too much to get into on stream. That's fine. Uh, there are many... There may be a few triggers in it for other viewers. That's true. Yeah, I, I mean, like, it's... I do find young love a weird thing. Because, like, I think of myself at, like, the age of 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I did not have my own identity then. Mm. Like, at all. I always felt like my identity was connected to someone else, whether it was family or friends or something. Like, it just didn't feel like my own. Um, so, like, you can kind of get, like, why, um, people don't encourage teenagers to kind of, like, get together and marry young, um, because, like, it's not until you've had a couple more years you're realizing, I really had nothing in common with that person. Hmm. And, like, I'm not saying don't date and stuff, but, like, I guess it just you find your identity when you're just a bit older mm. <laughs> than school age and you start going, oh shit. I think that's why I like, I really like and admire Jade and Kirsty's relationship because they're two very compatible people who have been through their own shit so they have the capacity to be empathetic towards one another no matter what. You know, like oh, yeah. if Jaden feels fun. horrible, Kirsty is like, "No, you're a wonderful human being. You need to remember that." And if Kirsty is feeling bad, then he has the like the empathy to be like, "No, you're an amazing person, and you know, like, every and you're okay, and everything's fine." As as well as also have very similar interests while still having a diversified sense of interests, um, yeah. so that they have other things to randomly talk about. But like, they went through this shit on their own first. And then they found each other. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, just as they kind of started resolving that. So, it's interesting. Anyway, sorry, I haven't said everything yet. To be honest, I don't feel, I don't know how to feel about it anymore. I feel numb, but sore, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm like, there's a part of me that wants it to end, but a bigger part that doesn't. Realistically, I do think it would be a good thing, but we'll see. There's a lot in the balance. I agree, Dyer. You've got, you've got to be happy with yourself before you can be happy with an someone else. Well, and that's the other thing to consider too, like, maybe you're just afraid of being alone. Well, yeah. I, mean, well, I think everyone is, um, when they've been with someone for so long, too. So. Uh, and he just said, um, you, you've you hit the nail on the head, Dar. Both my wife and I feel we've made too many life decisions based on each other. We never really got to have our own identities. Mm. Uh, and that's a fair call. Like, I think that's... Like, I've always been very much had the mentality of I would love to have a husband that, you know, like, we could just settle down together, like, and stay 
in one place, right? But then, you know, like there's other bigger decisions kind of at play where, you know, what if that person wants to take a job in a different state so that they can grow as a person? And do you follow them? But are you giving up? You know, all of those complicated. I'm thinking of everything from how I met your mother, strangely enough, but how I met your mother. <laughs> Well, I was just thinking even about our own father and how much he's given up for our mother's work. Yeah. Um, it's incredible, but at the same time, I'm like, has he wanted different things? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but the fact that he gives her so much time and devotion is incredible to me. Yeah. I think... I, I could not do that for someone else. <laughs> I, I think in relation to dad, like, like all the people on like our dad's side of the family... Um, we're very much people, we're very family oriented. It doesn't mean that we don't have friends, but I think it's that sort of like, as long as we can get on the phone and chat with a relative, um, that's kind of like enough for us, I think. Um, I mean, again, we there, other people still have like friends and stuff like that, but I think there's very much, there's a very family centric mentality. And I think that's what dad strives for with like mum and you know his 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 mother and and his dad and siblings and stuff like that um and it doesn't mean he can't make you know connections with people like he's dad's that is very very he has good charisma he's a good charisma score um and um he has the capacity to make deep connections with people no matter where he goes sort of thing so Okay, um, realistically, I think we'll split very soon, within the year maybe, but I know we'll both be okay. Most of my fear comes from either her being hurt or me being lonely, and it's tough. Yeah, absolutely, like, and I think when it gets to that moment, like, no matter how scary it is, you, like, you kind of have to make the call. And again, like, it would be scary and it would be terrifying and all of that stuff. Um... But you'll, you know, you'll grow beyond it, sort of thing. I think I'm learning from my dad's example. He hates the way his life has turned out, even if he won't admit it, because he wishes he hadn't kids with my mom. He told me as much when I was younger. <sighs> Yikes. And now I'm miserable and I, I don't want to end up like him. I don't think, like, sometimes, I'm not saying you were, you're going to end, you end up like him, but I, I think as long as you keep... Brain. How do I say this? As long as you're mindful of what you don't want to be, you will not become it. Um, so I don't think you have to worry about that. And again, like maybe, you know, like when you split apart, uh, if and when you split apart, you know, like, again, maybe you find someone else who has um, similar interests to you, or maybe you'll find a... Um, or even just a really good friend. Your independence. <laughs> yeah. I love my independence right now. Like, um, at work today we are talking again about, like, partners and dating and stuff, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I really cannot fathom dating anybody right now. Like... Hank me! I clean the dishes! <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just said, I clean your dishes. You're like, man, I love my independence. I do the cooking and, and, and <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just joking with you. I like how we're not moving the ship at all. Am I good to move the ship? <laughs> I've literally just been walking around in circles, planting shit over and over again. Meanwhile, I've been like doing the, the smelting. Um, Have I broken it again? I mean, oh no, wait, I the thing's up, isn't it? We need more plastic. Yes, which is the most important thing, which is why we're going on the ocean. Have we just started the therapy torture? What? <laughs> Have we just started a therapy torture? Yes. Not really. I might go backwards. Are we going backwards? What is happening? What am I doing wrong? Oh, I just okay, the here we go. Out. Oh my god. I'm so sorry to dump that stuff and run, but I've got to go. All good, bird, okay? Have a good night's sleep, all right? Don't yeah. stress. What will be, will be. And, you know, you'll get through it, okay? 
Strength through virtue. And we'll still be here. Thank you so much for listening to my problems. And if I'm not back later, then I'll see you next stream. All good, bro. Okay, take care. Have, have a good night. Have a good weekend. Where are we? Nope. Wrong button. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Every single time. I need like a sign that's like, this one's the engine and this one's whether we go forwards or backwards. You'd think it'd be obvious, but it's not. Yeah, I really thought it would be. I really want to keep talking about One Piece. I'm not gonna... <laughs> But it's like, I'm mainly talking to you about it, and you, you know all about it. Yeah, I know her. I know her Did you story. have any more comments from the, the chapter? Chapter? Yeah, oh chapter we just read, bro. I mean, I'm... S <sighs> just shanks. Oh I know! It's so I mean, hot. You gotta have some hell of an observation, Haki. To kind of do that without even getting on <laughs> hey <laughs> guess who just messaged me who? lily oh, wow. hey what are you guys doing tomorrow <laughs> goodbye dnd &D. uh D &D. D &D? D &D? why what are you planning why what you thinking we'll totally play hooky <laughs> Uh, we've been so bad with D&D &D recently. It's just so sad. Like, I wish it worked better. But on the other hand, I've kind of... I don't know. It's just been kind of nice having Saturday. You know, just having a bit of time. I kind of we should change it back to Sunday evenings. Actually. I know. I know. But I the whole like point is that so it's better like, for Diddy. Yeah, like, I'm not going to be going anywhere in the evenings. So it makes sense. Whereas on Saturdays, I actually want to go places and do things. Yeah. Yeah, same. So much and then like on Sundays I don't want to go anywhere because it's Sunday uh, <laughs> who wants to do anything on a Sunday most things are closed yeah. or something so like maybe Sunday was a good time <laughs> honestly yeah that's that's kind of how I've been feeling recently yeah <laughs> but yeah maybe we'll just talk over with the peeps <laughs> And I'll see what Lily wants to say. I mean, if Lily wants to catch up the first half of the day, that's fine. Or if she wants, if she's, if she's going to arrive late in the day, then that's also fine. Cause we can be like, yeah. all right, um, you know, like you can, we'll attend half of D and D and then like go out and have food with her or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We can make something work. I don't know, like, my brain was just kind of, like, half thinking, like, oh, man, like, still need to catch up with Lily again at some point. Because I mentioned Jaden and Kirsty and Tegan in the same breath. Of course, Lily exists within that breath. Um, I, was, I still I, I still think about it sometimes. My brain's kind of crazed at the idea of, like, I'm, and this is kind of sad, but also good at the same time. Like, the fact that you and I, we still have the friends that we made in high school. <laughs> No matter, like, we've moved around a whole heap, and we're still all friends. And that yeah. fact is, like, really cool. But on the other hand, it's kind of like, we've made no long-lasting relationships since. That's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like I could call up um, Levi uh, any day and just, like, catch up and stuff like that. But I don't know. That's... Yeah, like, part of me wishes that I was still friends with people from my primary school. Mm. But like back then, um, we didn't really have the means to. Like, I think email was literally just becoming a thing. Mm. Yeah. Or at least becoming accessible to children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think it was like it was really weird and awkward trying yeah. to uh trying to kind yeah, of work like, through our parents in order like to try and catch up. Transition where they had the small brick phones. Um, email was becoming a lot more day to day um and for, for the adult world not necessarily the children world mm. um and letters were like phasing out yeah so like you could still letter write your friends but i didn't fucking know how to do that and I'm nobody like, wanted to <laughs> a letter. Mm. i don't think anyone well, really yeah, wanted to either like person half across the world and you're like yeah i mean 
They'll get back to me when they're ready. Yeah. I think that's why it took me so long. Like, I still feel like I struggle to utilize my phone to its fullest capacity. Because, yeah. you know, like, when I first got a phone, it wasn't to communicate with people. It was, I want to play f games on my phone. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> I want to be antisocial in a different way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just... Uh, but, like, yeah, like, and I think that's why, like, Discord was really cool, because Discord was the equivalent of the phone to me, basically. You know, it was like, oh, I can message and call my friends whenever I want, just by, that's technically what the fucking phone is. <laughs> but it's like, no, 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 that's too intimidating. I won't call them on the phone. Because I think, I think over the course of time, the idea of phones has become very, like, it feels really private, which is weird, right? Because, you know, it's, we're driving past an island. Um, no, don't worry about it. Oh, you need oh. plastic. okay. Goodbye, we island. Need, really there's there's two different islands. <sighs> um, what was I saying? Um, I need to do more fishing, actually. Yeah, do some more fishing. Um. good okay um what was i saying um yeah like i feel like over the course of time it's weird because i feel like phones have become a lot more private in the sense of you know like when i went out with ruby and fj the other week you know like we were talking to some guys and fj was like you know like oh like why don't you get that guy's phone number and i'm like no <laughs> one because i wasn't interested but two because my brain was like that's way too private and information to to ask somebody like, which is weird, right? Because logically, if you want to, if you're interested in a person and you want to see them again, like, it's way more normal nowadays to get their Snapchat or their Discord or something than give them actually your phone number. Yeah, that's actually weird because, like, for some reason, sending photos isn't as invasive as actually sending someone your phone number. Oh my god. I don't know. It's weird. I, I think it's more about, um, everything's fine. I definitely didn't. Did you stop yeah, the boats? Me... Huh? Did you stop? All right, I, okay, listen, I accidentally jumped into the wheel and fell down, but then it happened to stop at the same time, but I think they're actually just out of fuel. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, just a funny happenstance. Um. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what was my point? Um. I think it's because though, like, we've gone from an age of we've got to do this administration all by hand, like emails and stuff like that, to, you know, like, very much like double authentication with our phones. Like, uh, they're, like, it's like when you see those videos that are like, let's see how much information you can get just by simply looking at my phone. And, you know, like, you know, my phone alone, you know, like, it's connected to my Google account, it's connected to my email, it's connected to... Um, you know, like, it's it's already connected to so many things that I feel like the idea of a phone is very, uh, well, I want to say private, is, is, is very, um, like, the act of giving that number out is very meaningful, I guess. Mm. Like, the fact that FJ still didn't have my phone number <laughs> up until literally this visit, the, the last visit that he was here for, Mm. is kind of like, you know, like my brain being like, oh, you know, like, god damn it. Um, you know, like, uh, R? There we go. It is, you know, even my brain kind of being like, oh, well, that information's too private. I still have Con's number, surprisingly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I have Con and FJ's number. It's the only two people I've met online that I've actually given the number to. And don't get me wrong, like, I think it's also, like, we respect each other's boundaries a lot too, though. 
you know like we're not the type of people to go from call like we're not the type of people to start texting each other all the time um yeah. why do that on the thing when you can just do that on the on your on discord anyway yeah that's fair yeah it is it is weird it's it's weird when you think about it thing is probably out, right? Oof. No, not quite. Turn down for what? Wait, I'm supposed to be fishing. I keep getting distracted by seeing the islands and my brain's like, Ooh, and then it's like, oh wait. Good job. But yeah, no, like, f giving a phone number is definitely, like, last thing I would do. Like, I feel like if I met somebody in person that I was, like, interested in pursuing or, like, a friendship with or something, I'd be like, hey, you know, like, this is my dis- you know, this is my Twitch channel. And hopefully would have, like, somewhat similar interests. I'd be like, here's- here's my Twitch- You know, like, interact with my Twitch community, you know, like- Get to know me more on an informal basis. Um, you know, kind of. I don't know, like, because I think, like, if, I guess, like, in terms of streaming, at least, like, I think turning up to someone's stream every single day, or even every second day, or like at least once a week, sort of thing. It's it's a, it's a commitment to be dedicated to a stream, and I think if like a person's going to be interested in you, it's like, like, be there. Um, and you know, like chat with me, find out my interests. I'll find out more about your interests. How was your day? You know, like I like details. Mm -hmm. I like a good story. I think Adara and I were like talking. I, th I think we talked about this at one point. Um, kind of talking something along the lines of, um, I like talking, right? But I also like other people talking back to me. And I'm very much, you know, what talking back, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like listening to people just as much as I like talking. And I think, um, uh, food. And like I, I, you know, like I want somebody who will come home at, from work and tell me all the nuances behind things. That's why I like our conversation so much, Adara, because you come, you know, you come back from work and you don't think, oh, Hannah won't understand what a heckin' uh, BPS is, you know, like I'm just, I, I did things, I did more paperwork, you know, like rather than being vague with me and being like, oh, she probably won't understand, you sit and you tell me about it and you educate me and, um, you no, know, it's just like it's fun, like learning through another person, and and but also like you know hearing the fun little conversations that happen in your workplace and stuff like that. Like, because I think I think it's one of those things where like if you keep an eye out for things, there's always funny or interesting things going on in your brain. I would argue, and I like I like talking yeah. about those things. I enjoy it too. I mean, sometimes I feel like I try to I, I try to stretch it too much with trying to figure out what I want to exactly talk to you about. You know, I'm like, well, this one thing a thing happened in Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's like, all right, I might be stretching it a wee bit, but it's still something you can at least be like, yes, I've played Stardew Valley. I understand at least what she means. Yeah, it's like even if I have nothing to add, I can go feels, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go away, How many times am I gonna have to play through the start of Fall for this <laughs> two pieces of content? Fuck it. Oh, I'm sad about it. Oh. There's still that part of me that's like, I could just reset. You know, like I could just like I could just wait until that that one thing comes up again or something. Actually, I think I might end up doing that anyway, but. Just funny. Oh, 
Aha! I see the Condorio! I'm so behind in Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> I need to like sit and do like a day stream of it next week or some point. Yeah, that's an idea. It is an idea. Bird, I swear to God. Gonna hold my fish. I hug my fish while I pick my potatoes. Like a normal human being. <laughs> potatoes. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. I started rewatching this anime because my brain was like, I remember really enjoying this anime. Why? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, yeah. so, um, um, it's called The Saint is Omnipotent, mm -hmm. and I remember why. It's because there's a gorgeous blonde <laughs> who's, like, he, you know, at the start, he's, like, kind of, like, people think of him as very, like, icy and, like, you know, he's, like, the captain knight commander and stuff, and he's considered, like, someone who used to be very standoffish, but, like, it, his life is saved by the saint and by the main character and um he starts like i don't know it's just really cute because it's like one of those things where he doesn't say they're going on a date but he's like hey do you want to accompany me into town and here i bought you something and <laughs> like and then like later on like she's um she's like talking to someone else about it and then the dude's like how was your date and she's like date <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a bit of a, I imagine, how Ari reacted after realizing that she technically had had about three dates with a guy. I can't believe Ari's in a relationship. <laughs> Ari. I'm not gonna lie. If she gets married before me, I will cry. At her wedding. I mean, I love crying at weddings, but... I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> Fishing on the ocean. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it's just been, I don't know, I just think it's really funny, um, going back and, like, watching it and, like, trying to, like, remember things and stuff like that, but, but, like, I also sit there and I watch this episode and my brain's just like, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> wish I could just save a person's life and then be like, and then that person just start, like, mildly crushing on you and just instead of you know saying hey i want to date you just be like yo let's watch a movie and you're like sure and then after a couple of movies it just just falls into place i say that's what happened between jade and kirsty but i doubt that's gonna happen to but for me yeah you never know yeah i could be maybe alone for the rest of my life maybe i'll just be your maid for the rest of my life it's the weird thing is, when the fairy tale thing happens to you, you don't realize it until someone points it out, like, later. I mean, I guess that's true. Because you're like, huh, I guess that was kind of a fairy tale way of meeting, or mm. having a wedding, or something. <laughs> I don't know. Suck it, bird. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you're absolutely right. But it also feels like one of those things where it's like... I don't know, it's just really easy to be like, oh, it's not gonna happen for me. You know, like, I never leave the house. Why the why the hell would anyone even... Everyone around here is married. Why would I even meet someone who'd be partially interested in me? And then me not think they're a stalker or something? Yeah. Well, that's the other side of the coin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Your very tail date might be happening, but then you'd be freaking out because you're like, is it a stalker? Is he just being creepy? Like... What's with this guy? <laughs> when all he's doing is just being genuinely nice. Yeah, you know. Sus. <laughs> yeah. Trying not to be suspicious these days is a hard thing. Uh, the good idea about me doing my fishing here is that I can scare off the birds while I'm fishing. Nice. Strategic planning. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Now that I have sufficiently used up my entire fishing rod, I'm still irritated by how quickly the fishing rod breaks. Like, why can't I just have an impervious fishing rod? And, um... Yeah. Shit. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Why can't I have an impervious fishing rod? And then just, like, have to have bait or something? <sighs> and saying that there is a shit ton of potatoes, but we still need to get- we need to, like, go back to the previous islands and get more honey, for example. I mean, more bees. More bees to get more honey. What am I doing? Potatoes. Stay here, my sweets. By sweets, I mean the potatoes. <laughs> Potato. Oh, Lily finally got back to me. Give me a second. I need to mow this bitch. And by that, I mean the... Shave the sheep. Shave- no. Shave the sheep! <laughs> Instead of Sean the sheep. <laughs> I'm putting all the wool into the plastic container, by the way. Cool. No problems there. Alright. We also have a ton of eggs. I don't know what you're supposed to use them for, but they're there. Can I come over and watch Jurassic Movie? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's still in cinemas, yeah. <laughs> I... I I think it's still in movies. Absolutely. Just Cause we could do that after. I mean I don't know when she'll turn up, but well, we could I always mean, even if we do it Sunday morning or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're in Ireland. Ireland? Yeah. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> what do you know? Well, we might as well stop here. <laughs> that shows how much we've been, like, intricately paying attention. Yeah. What time do you think you'll get here? Food. We need food. Is this- this is a completely different island again, right? Yeah. Yeah? I yeah. So. All the that. islands, like, I know they're different, but there's that part of my brain that just goes blah 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 blah. I'm not sure. We can watch all three movies! <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you looking at the things at the moment or something? No. No, I'm just saying possibly. <laughs> Thor, Love and Thunder, and Jurassic World. Oh, right. I forgot about Thor, Love and Thunder. Well, if she hasn't seen that yet. Yeah. It's an idea. We'll just do it a day with movies. It's a lot of dedication, but I'm down. I mean, I don't like Jurassic. I won't, I won't watch Jurassic Park, but... You Anything can watch else? Jurassic and then watch Minions. So it like <laughs> yeah, the Minions. I do still really want to watch the Minions. I haven't even seen the third one. <laughs> uh, the third one was weird. I'll be honest. You're not really missing much. Oh no, I don't doubt that. I mean, as soon as they start claiming that he has like a a a brother or something, it's like get out of here. Mm, I don't know. Keep us posted. <laughs> well, okay. morning or afternoon? <laughs> Probably be almost definitely afternoon. Mm. Well, we'll be... I'm at party in city now, so like whenever I guess catching up with my brother at 2pm. Well, we could do the morning. Um... I just forget okay. that Lily has siblings. <laughs> I can always do my nails on Sunday. <laughs> it's true. Um, I only I only plan to do it on Saturday just in case I fall I sleep in and then I have to do it Sunday. 
would you would you prefer after would you prefer before or after catching up with your brother Because we could still, like, if she wants to see her brother for, like, two, three hours, we could still attend all of D&D and then just go out at night. Well, it's you, you, you and, you and Lily can go out and I still get Jade and Kirsty day. And then she can sleep over. After? Okay. Done. I mean, that's an option. <sighs> well, we'll be just... We'll be hanging around the house. I mean, it also depends on movie times. Uh, late viewing, so, probably. I'll say we'll be hanging around the house uh, all, um, all afternoon. So whenever you are done seeing your brother, you can come to ours. I mean, you could still, so, I mean, she's saying after, that's still plenty of time to still do our morning plans. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, like, I'm happy to make it work either way. Cool. I don't doubt that. I feel like this is the last island, this is like exactly like the last island we were on, but my brain's like, mm. but we didn't turn around at any point. I'm pretty sure we went in a straight direction. Yeah, I think you're right. That's I mean, because as I said, the stuff would have respawned since. So. Maybe I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, you on the island already? Yeah, I'm. There's no trees where I previously cut down trees, so I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, that would do it. Uh. Huh? That's weird. Interesting trick. <laughs> You went to a straight line and ended up at the same island. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. Because <laughs> I was you busy trying to grow things. Maybe we just went right around the world. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, no, we've definitely been here at least some point recently. <laughs> My god, how? <laughs> chicken, chicken, chicky, chicky. Alright, you still on the boat? Because I'm yeah. gonna stop moving it. Just. Well, I was thinking maybe stop the string here. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling drapey and I want a bit of me time before I sleep. Yeah, no, that's fair. Or your book or something. Yeah, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's funny, she's like, and crash or is that not cool? And if not cool, can I sleep in the foyer? <laughs> what, you can, what? what do you mean? I was like, yeah, yeah, you can stay overnight. That's what I was assuming. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you can say you can't sleep in the foyer, but you'll have to sleep in our house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make you choose <laughs> the worst option, right? That reminds me, you also want- Ugh, I can't be bothered. Nope, it's not happening. The fact that I lose a bucket every single fucking time I have to milk these goddamn goats, it frustrates me. It's not worth it. What? What are you talking about? The goats. Uh. You're supposed to milk them, but you need to make a bucket every single time. It's like, is this really worth the resources of losing a bucket each time? 
I mean, we have enough at the moment. I know. I just don't have a lot on me right now, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I always find it funny when when Lily asks after things because I, uh, it's like, I don't know, like she always presents herself as a very like confident person. I think, um, but in text, I feel like some of that anxiety just ebbs through. It's always like, can I come over here? Is that all right? Like I'm probably just looking into it way too much, but it sometimes looks like the way that she phrases things. It's just like, it's okay, dude. It's all right. I'm assuming you're going to stay over. <laughs> You can all sleep on the couch and just relax or something, whatever really, the hell. When we say any time, we mean it. <laughs> yeah. You think we have lives? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Uh, this is like the kind of thing I was talking about, like in relation to dad, in the sense of that, you know, like dad's happy hanging around the house and then unknowingly getting like a call from his relatives or just having like a friend pop by or something like. Yeah, do we have any dates? We don't have many dates. Uh, have any dates. I'm sorry, I cook them sometimes and... Why? I, I, I they're in there, you. okay? If they're in here, I just... I think that we're supposed to cook them. It's fine. I'm not gonna cook them anymore. I've been taught my lesson. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> I need the beets for... beets. Oh, okay. You want me to grow the beets then? I can make some smoothies with them. Can you? There. Oh, you can plant beets. Damn. Yeah, dude. I honestly had forgotten after all of this potato farming. Okay. It's a lot of potato farming, dude. Yeah, I know. I've been impressed. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna wait until this next- at least these next lots of beets finish growing. As well as the next message from Lillian. Sorry, we're gonna wake up. I'm just thinking about getting a ham cheese croissant instead of actually sitting down and eating food. Really? I really like Rosies. Oh, you don't even Rosies, yeah. 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 But I'm also like, what do I do for uh, 50 minutes? I mean, you could. Buy bread. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy bread for 50 minutes. Because buying bread takes that long. Well, you have to get the right bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was gonna say, we could, um... <sighs> we could... <laughs> Guys are angels, lol, thanks, Teehee. <laughs> when has Lily ever said Teehee in her text messages? I don't know. But... <laughs> She's picked up a bad habit from her boyfriend, I think. <laughs> well, that's possible, yeah. Um, now I have to look up movie times. <laughs> uh... uh, what was I saying to you? Was I saying to I you? I don't know, but I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> why does it use up the bucket? I don't know. I don't know why it uses up the bucket. It really frustrates me. Cause I'm like, it's a bucket, right? Logically it's reusable, but no, 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 no. The bucket is gone as soon as you use up the milk. It's just dead. It's gone. Okay, give me a second. Let me just look at village, uh, uh, the tickets. For, I mean, if, if it's even still in movies. Worst case scenario, we go see Thor. Yeah. Um, it is, does today, no, today is not tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Okay, wait. Tomorrow is the 30th. There is. An 8.50 showing. There's a 5.45 showing and an 8.50 showing. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you're pretty good for either of those, probably, depending on when Lily's comes over. Yeah, I mean, it's late night, but whatever. 
Mm. I mean, again, I'm I'm happy to like sit, chat, and then kind of bid you guys farewell to go see the movie and then spend time with Jaden and Kirsty. Because I think if if you guys don't go to the early showing, like that's still enough time to like sit, have a good chat with her and then be like, all right, bye. <laughs> you guys have fun now. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> and then like, and then when you guys arrive late at home, I like sit on the edge of my bed thinking, are they gonna safe? I can't go to bed until my baby's a safe home. And I don't know why I'm making it sound like I'm your parent, but I'm your parent now, so. Okay, mom. I got you. Kill the bird. The bird is gone. Long live the beets. One of the beets got eaten. Beep a deep. Um. Yep, I have no idea what I was talking about previously, but here we are now. I'm just waiting for the current potatoes to finish growing and then. Uh. Get the beat work. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you wanted, you could tell, you could, you can go get your nails done and then just text me when you're, you think you're halfway done. And when you're halfway done, I'll stop walking down. This still all really depends on where, what time we get out of bed, but the point still stands. I mean, I was happy to eat first and then do nails too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. <laughs> eat, you do your things. I'll come home. Yeah. I'll come home with bread. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Whatever happens. We'll see what time we wake up in the morning and then see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. How long has the stream been? Two hours and 30 minutes. Uh, do I end stream now? Or do I do something else? I mean, we could probably just end stream. It's a Friday. Everyone, everyone's chillaxing. Everyone's relaxing. And it's one of those things like once it's past 1030, it's kind of weird to like start up something new, quote unquote. Like I can't start a new randomizer. And, you know, I can just re have a relaxing evening if I do end up finishing it early. <sighs> Ooh, um, the Baron Breakfast game came out today. Nice. I showed you that. I, I'm pretty sure I showed you, showed you that trailer. Mm. Yeah, all about a bear and a bird. Uh, not a bear and bird. Sorry. Um, it's all about a bear that opens its own bed and breakfast. Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. I was tempted to buy it and like thinking about playing it because it's only 28 bucks and my brain's like, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> but... There's like that other part of me that's like, I don't know, like, whenever it comes to games where you're supposed to build, like, stuff, like, I love building and I love designing and stuff, but there's always like that other part of me that's like, uh, but I didn't never really got super into Skylands, lines, Skylines, or, uh, you know, just a few of those other kind of like games. Yeah. But I love building. I love building in games, though. You know, like, if it's a 3D world and I'm building it, it's, like, really cool, so. I guess, like, as long as, like, I'm not an omnipotent force. <laughs> that's just, like, controlling every- that just controls what's happening. I think that's boring. But I think this would be better because it's a bear and he's doing his best. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. Maybe I will buy it at some point. I was planning on playing Phoenix right next week, though. 
And there's also obviously a uh, Cold of the Lambs coming out. And that it's in two weeks' time, but still. Ooh, close. It is close, yeah. I'm still waiting for a few other game release announcements before I know absolutely what's going on. You know, like Two Point Campus is still supposed to come out next week, I believe. Mm. But I'm still kind of in the 9th of August. Yeah, that's 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 next week. Next not not next week, the week after. On a Tuesday. Tuesday is a weird release date. <laughs> um but yeah, I I want to like buy and play that, but I'm still kind of wondering if I'll be invested enough to play a game like that. I don't know, my brain just doesn't think like that. Anyway, sorry, Darm. Do just freeform is. Yeah, I just. Hmm? Well, that's something. Hmm? So it's freeform as Sky uh, City Skylines from what I've seen. It's a bit like the Animal Crossing DLC with house design. Yeah. And I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed playing that. I did a ton of that. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, when it gets to a point where there's no point, is there a point? <laughs> you know, like I really enjoyed doing all the way up until you'd done like 50 houses and you um, in the, the Animal Crossing DLC. I enjoyed doing all of that. But then as soon as I kind of got to that 50, I was like, I'm done. I know there's a few other rewards if you keep going, but it was very much like, oh, I've got to that kind of end point, quote unquote, like there needs to be something that drives you beyond it and does it. And that's the kind of question I have. Um, and that's why I get kind of sus about playing certain games. Like at least with something like Cult of the Lamb, my brain's like, okay, there's still a storyline, you know, you're still supposed to be going around and killing the people that aren't in your cult. <laughs> Like, I know there's still, like, a main core structure behind, like, the general storyline and then build your cult at the same time. And I'd probably play up until the point you've defeated all those bosses. And then you can stop. S sorry, Doc. No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've kind of already checked out, too. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, in my brain, I'm like, did you want to go? You just want to idly listen to me talk for a couple more minutes before I end oh. stream, or...? Yeah, look, I might just go. Okay. Nope. That's why I was like saying sorry, because I felt like you just, you wanted to make that exit and you hadn't done it yet. Yeah, yeah, no, I kind of forgot to. <laughs> I went to and then I just kind of didn't. <laughs> no, that's fair. All right. Well, thank you for playing Raft with me, Adara. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Have a good night's sleep, yeah. despite I'll probably say that to you in person and half an hour or something, but pfft. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, chat. Yeah. Love you now. Yeah. See you later. Yee. Yeah. There's still that part of me that's like, mm, is this the time that we finally just open and play Monster Hunter Rise for like an hour and 30 minutes? <laughs> is this the time? Is this the place? I don't fucking know. I could also feel like I could just talk about random video games I'm excited about coming out for 30 minutes and then be like, all right, we hit the three minute mark. I can go to bed. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Like sometimes my brain thinks about doing stuff in relation to like the DLC, like the Sunbreak, um, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak stuff. But whenever I think about doing it, it's like, oh god, but the bosses might take a really long time by myself. Like, when I do it with Jane and Kirsty and Con, it's fun. Three minute mark, sorry, three hour mark. When I do stuff with Jade and Kirsty and Con, you know, it's like an experience. We're just chatting, we're idly we're having banter while we're like, do like, even if we are hunting something for 20 minutes, well, it's probably just gonna be me. Sitting and watching intensely and trying to talk and then probably focusing way too much for like, you know, a t 20 to 30 minute <laughs> time frame and then being like, whoa. Video games, video games. I really love video games. Yeah, three hour mark. All right, so we need to talk for another like 15 minutes. 
I've got this. Easy, in the bag. I'm really tempted to just buy Baron breakfast right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, like, you see that you can dress him up and it's just like, oh, isn't he cute? Look at this little guy. Look at him. Look at him go. We are so proud. It does look like there's a bit of growing in the sense of like you're going to different locations and stuff like that, which is usually pretty cool. Not to mention they seem to emphasize that there's kind of like a darker part that's going on behind this, but again, it's still kind of building. What's this one? I love this trailer. It's so maniacal. My friend's playing that right now. Oh, there you go. This is so cute. I love that this looks like the bear wants to kill you. This is the shining, but the bear is the murderer. That's what it looks like to me. Like, what's with the scary- like, I need to know. I need to know what is with the scary cat figurine. What is the darkest story that's happening here that we are unaware of? But I like, um, where is it? It's just in this next section. Uh... Nope, didn't show it. Well, there's like... Like, you get to dress up your little bear boy. There he is. You get to dress him up. And I, I, I love dressing up characters. I think it's really cute. But yeah, it really does make me wonder, like, how big and expensive is the world or something. I have no obligation to make sense to you. Can I make that? Can, can I make that my stream description? <laughs> Can you imagine? You just like you like you're checking out random streamers, and then it's just like I have no obli obligation to make sense to you. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down, just for my own humor. Just just write it in. Just quotes 2020. I still can't believe I have a quotes 20. What happened to quotes 2021 and 2022? I don't know. 2022 quotes. I have no... <laughs> Bear and breakfast. I really just want to buy it and play it now. <laughs> I don't have the time. Not right now. I'm, I'm playing Stardew Valley. I need to focus on Stardew Valley, okay? <sighs> About bears. Bear and Breakfast is a laid-back management adventure game where you play as a well-meaning bear trying to run a B&B &B in the woods. Hank and his friends find an abandoned shack and equip it with their teenage ingenuity. Turn it into a money-making bed and breakfast scheme for, uh, for unsuspecting tourists. As your business expands, so do the far mysteries of the forest and Hank soon finds himself uncovering a plot deeper than the wilderness itself. But you're a bear. But yeah, like, because it looks like you moving through the story rich world. Okay, so it does say it's very story rich. Maybe I'll just play it anyway. Buys. I won't buy it right now, but maybe next weekend. Again, I'm kind of like a bit like I was planning on playing Phoenix right next weekend. But if I get too into playing other things, then I'll forget. There you go. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My top ten games. And for some weird reason, The Witcher The Witcher 3 is in the top of that. I always find it crazy that by the time I finish the Phoenix Wright, it'll probably overpass The Witcher Wild Hunt, because each section of Ace Attorney has taken the first has taken me about 30 hours each. Because I think the first half was like 35 hours, and now I'm at 73 hours. And if the third one is even longer. That'll probably get me to about 110. Don't shit where you eat. 
Agreed. It's not a good idea. I know you're probably saying that in relation to something I said, but I don't remember what that was, so I'm just going to agree with you. What else is in my wish list? I'm still waiting for Slime Rancher information. They keep, like, putting stuff out there. They keep putting stuff out there that's kind of, like, hinting at things. Uh, uh... It doesn't work in full screen. All right. Like, I keep waiting for them to be like, here's the release date and still there's nothing. It just says full. So it could be September, it could be October, and it could be November. I'm hoping it's not November because I already have two other games coming out in November and I don't, I don't think I'll have the time. <laughs> ah. Beer. I love the butterfly ones. Space cabbage. I like the idea that you could really easily make a third game of this as well and then just make them look completely different as well. Yay. It says early access, but it's not in early access. It's not even out yet. <sighs> yeah, it just says fall 2022. Don't know when. Disappointment. Famously, where they shit went. You're a bear opening a B&B in the woods. Famously, where they shit. You have a good point. And the adage, does the bear, does the bear shit in the woods? But if a bear shits in woods, if no one is there to observe it, does it happen? <laughs> you know, like that whole debate of like, if a sound is not observed there by anything in the woods, does it exist? It's like that. Yes, you can come back and find the shit. That's how you track them. Yeah, but you don't know if a bear shit. I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, okay? Maybe. I know what you mean. Here's another game I look forward to doing the building in. Now ah, I mucked it up again. Because this is like another world where it looks like the building could be like a lot of fun. And it's like, it's had very post, like very positive and mostly positive. But it's also one of those things where like, it's early access, you know, how much more is it gonna kind of build on top of it? There's a fishing update, we love that. Yeah, so I'm, I don't really know the full further intricacies of, um, of that game. I'm always worried when I buy games that are early access, like, obviously like, there's only It'll stop, the storyline will stop at a certain point, despite it could still be a fairly fleshed out game. Um, you know, like V Rising. V Rising looks good. I know there's a little bit grindy from what I heard, but I also, like, I don't, I don't know how rich the storyline is. Because my impression of it is you're a vampire, take over the land. Like, is there opposing forces that aren't just, like, other people, like, players, like, are there opposing forces? Is like, is it Diablo where you can like, there's like dungeon crawling and stuff like that. I don't think I've seen anything like that. But again, that's because I haven't seen it. Same fears with the little witch in the woods, despite I feel like it'll be really good, but. I know it's a bit weird with some games because I wait for them to come out and then they come out and my brain's like, eh. Eh. oh, it's fine, it'll be fine. I still need to catch up with House Flipper. This doesn't look like another world at all. This looks like the real world. <sighs> but yeah, House Flipper, I'm so behind in House Flipper. There's like three different DLCs for the goddamn game. Where is it? What DLCs do I have? I have the Pets DLC, the HGTV DLC, the Garden Flipper. I've done everything for Garden Flipper DLC. 
but I haven't done the luxury one or all of the house HGTV DLC. And I've done none of pets. And I'm so behind. So utterly behind. <laughs> but obviously sometimes it takes so much effort. Like it takes hours. <sighs> it takes hours of concentration to get through just one section. Slowly but surely. But I, I do want to do the most recent update because there's doggos. Worth it. I kind of like how House Flipper has been just kind of building on its base, on its basis. Like it has, it like the base game was like a very fundamental good idea. And then they've just been like building on it more and more. Like now there's pets, now there's this, now there's that. It's a good way of doing it. I like my farming and vibe options. Farming and vibe is good. I never got super into some of these games, but I played this game for 10 hours and it's a really good game and I would totally play more of it. But I think it's like, it's one of those things where like only one type of game like this can hold my attention at a time. You know, like sometimes it's Terraria, sometimes it's Stardew Valley. At the moment it's Stardew Valley. And obviously I did Power Washing Simulator, but Power Washing Simulator was like, when there was an update, it grabbed my attention. When there wasn't an update, it didn't grab my attention. Um. Same thing kind of with Slime Rancher 2. I kind of played that in like a three day binge and was like, wow, this is great. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh. Oh, I never got all the DLC for this game, did I? Oh, sorry, all the achievements. I always try to get all of the achievements, right? But then it always, like, hits a wall and then I just never go back to it. <laughs> it's so difficult because some of these walls are so difficult and I'm just like, ugh. Like, I have all of these achievements for Power Washing Simulator since the last update, but now that means I have to go back and play through all the levels, and it's like, ugh. No thanks. I need to finish this game. It's a good game. I think I'm up to, like, the desert. Every so often, once in, like, a blue moon, I'll open this game, I'll play, like, two, three hours of it, and then put it back down, and then, and then just another, like, two, three hours of just absolutely nothing. <laughs> anyway <coughs> we've done it we've almost talked for 15 minutes we're almost at the three hour mark guys and then i can end stream <laughs> it's so weird the idea of like wanting a stream to last for 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 three hours because in my re in my brain i would prefer it if a stream lasted between four to six hours would be ideal for me. Like, I think I always, like, I don't know if I've talked about, I've talked about this in the past where I feel like in my brain, the ideal way I would want to go about doing things is, you know, like eating before, you know, getting her, like if I, if I, if I was living by myself, I would like attend work, go home, um, attend work, go home, um literally eat and then like start stream and stream from six to six which would be very like that on top of stream on, on to like on top of working all day but it would be tough but i don't know like i think it's better when a game goes for a really long time and you know like when i do ocarina of time randos in my brain i still have it as a quote unquote a requirement to be like oh well this stream will be at least four to five hours long i should be get I should be close to getting it completed, I guess. And that's why like we get to end the end of a lot of it's why I don't end up finishing a lot of randos because I get to the no mode where I know where everything is or like I'm close to knowing where everything is. Um and I'm like looking at the clock and I'm like I got to stop because I'm supposed to be talking quieter. I need to go to bed. I'm waking up the next morning, whatever. There is different reasons and different motivations um, around that sort of thing. That's how solitaire is for me. Solitaire? In relation to like 
wanting to play it for three to four hours straight. <laughs> I'm turn the light down a little. But I mean, like, it's a good way of doing it. Like, when I do a rando, I want to think of it as, okay, I have four, I have at least, I have at least four hour bracket margin here to be able to finish this. And that's why, like, when I play Broft with Adara, sometimes it is like this, where my brain's like, I have an hour and a half. I could do three, four worlds of Stardew Valley, but do I want to start that right now? I'd rather end stream and then just kind of do that while watching YouTube or something. <laughs> Once I've found everything, all that's left is cleanup. Yeah. That's fair. Opens up Stardew Valley. I'm so close to the end of Stardew Valley. It's so difficult. <laughs> it's a lot of air. Yeah, it's a lot of effort. But I'm almost done. I say I'm almost done. I still have a really long way to go, but... Yeah. Anyway, you can stop now. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> uh, just chilling, hanging out. Not, not anything too complicated. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. We'll be fine. I could do a whole myriad of things within an hour, but I think I'll just rather do that stuff in my own time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you'll have an excellent day today and tomorrow, as well as a wonderful weekend. Hope you all have fun. Um, I'm going to be catching up with friends now on the weekend. So that's nice. Friends. One friend. <laughs> um, well, obviously, obviously Jane and Kirsty day as well. Um, and, um, <sighs> I'm gonna wake up early and go do things with my sister. It'll be good. Um, so yeah, hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see y'all on Monday for probably an Ocarina of Time random and then I'll start doing Phoenix Ride. Probably, unless I buy Baron breakfast and that's just takes up the next two weeks or something. Anyway, take care, guys, and I'll, yeah, see you on Monday. Bye bye. Good night. Mm -hmm.